la ime chala jenya ma la hendure we la ga ga to for la church wa ga ta ka ga di to se ya na to to okay kama ga ne to for la church we ha for us na e ba ga kwenya ma la hendure we we ga gi me ha o tu ba ba wo ba ta chara Okay. Mm. So, what is the name of 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 the name when the lelo ilio sugo age gba nwe sub uniform age konkwa age ime omelala odo we dey chicha na meme nga hala ngene age ti e la radio age ime hali la we dey chicha e ko e je ilio su nga age carry million la mo ba to ba lo ga do lo ta o do no nya nge ko e gbakura nku mo ba la ga ibe la ama ta la ga bo Yes, I'm sorry, one man, I'm not a shrap halfway, boom, 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 I did for this, you quibble schools. You go ba ha de kusia ba onye ka amuta chala okuibo o ga eche mo ebe nga bu beke wa ha le yero kuibo match o ga tara abo wa otu na hunde ebate ke be kwale nde o lele no la mbala abo we be ka nyu ma bu ta pata ko ta lagos ma ha lele wende o tutu ma du wende ibikata la na onye ka abu onye ibo onye kembo onye yero onye kembo onye awu so onye kembo onye ibibi onye kembo wa no kata nga o ku aje we je ke da agbakiri to o kumbo Okubeke. Limo kubeke wa. Kaman ne kwa nunga kwa isi. Mabona nge isi wa wanya kwi bo limo lo. Ye wa kuro kubeke. Isi wa ya. Ya ga skulu. Mwode ga ye ba hasla ga ye da so ubeke halangene. Oga ye kwe toga. Ebe undeke nga kwa nunga lambo. Mwro kwi bo. Ta mwa kwa beke. Mbolo kembo. Nde kwa ni kwa kubeke marama. Kara ndeke. Ndeke wele bo. Ade ye kwa kubeke ya aso. Mani mwen ho li le nche. Na nela na. Abo ogo. Aloro. Ato ade ye si o kwi bo. La. La o la kukwanyi wende chiche. Kwa abe kwa abe 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 wwe. Mpuro kuka de pa alfabet. Ya hafo mpuro kuka. Eji razi anye lambo. Biyale a kake. Ogo ke nde kusi we. Ba wende nde kusi we. Ogo ke o kwi bo we. Ama abe chi wabe a aga. Ali kama waga. Kemba hanyo njira kumbo A, B, B, D, A. Mwero anu. Kade kwa B, H, A. Ogwe nden kusi. Nda siwe cha kusi ibo. Ama yako. Yafu ya emo ta oku ibo. Kwenda wali lembo kande palaga oku ibo aswa. I'm going to progressive.
Rano, ke ade ba bi eche, o gwen den kusin, nda si wo cha kusin ibo, a man yako, ya fwe yon e mota okwi ibo, wen da wali lembo kande palaga okwi ibo aswa. Leo sa, sa ni mi yon abay kuro na ufu wo, li li ozo yon lo ufu wo asusi ibo, ele un cheki, un cheki ayi gwi me vere, bo a chita, mi yon da aswa, kodi bo ton si tembo. Eh, wala. Ade hende peke leja pokro progressive sin. That is mehe. Nde gali hili. Ebe la kwasa ade mehe. Emele mehe. Ehe tala. Oyo wata krendi iso. Yera mene. Ya hile era mene. Ta. Me wado wende chiche. E wala mehe haka wala li. La ken basra oliliosa. Haka kwe era haka kwa magatra la church. Church. Nde choche hede nye nye ngara cheli yosu Nna ya meba Seche nye ebe Ogo mbo nye choche Ejo mebe choche Oja abu wanka wago meti wa oh Mba hondo kama atilase Mba kankara wata Yeli ene Abu le libe ya eli ele Bewe dekanya ah agak kuat beke kah benda kau deh agam berah aji fura isi okui bulas ku aku laku kadu yang disi okui bu agak disi ombu beke 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 buat bukan aji laku ebit hela ebit si atakra agi kui deh okui bu antil jumbe ke kudu Kaji rapo standard one, mahe bahtera la standard one. Eh, wale time lo kile jaku sin English, wale kile jaku sin Okuibo. Baha de kusia, ba onye kama muta chala Okuibo. Oga chie mu epe ngabu peke wa la yaro Okuibo match. Um, oga ketera. Abu wa tunna hende epate. Kebe kule, nde wili le no la. Mbalabo webe kanyo mabu tapa takote lego sema huli le wende. Oto tomadu wende ibikata. Langna. Onye kabu gonye ibo. Onye kembonye iro. Onye kembonye awos. Onye kembonye ibibi. Onye kembonye wano kata nga. Oku wege wige keda kwa kilito ngu kumbu. Oku beke. Limu oku beke wa. Kamande kwa nunga kuisi mabu nangi isi wa wanya oku ibo. Limu lo. Ye wako oku beke. Isi wa ya. Ya gaskulu mwode gaya ba hasla gaya da so beke halangane. Oga ye kwe toga. Ebe unde kenga kwa nunga lambo. Mungo kuibo. Ta mwa kwa beke. Mbolo kembo. Nde kwa ni kuwa kubeke. Mbana mma. Kala ndeke. Ndeke welebo. Ade yi kuwa kubeke ya aso. Mwa ni mwa yi huo li lenshe. Na nela na. Abo ogo. Alo. Ato ade yi su kuibo. La. La wala kukwanyi wende chiche. Kwa abe kwa abe abwa wwe mpuro kukade kwa alfabet. Ya hafo mpuro. Lau laku kau nyuwen di cici. Buat apa kau bilang we empuru aku kade pal fabet. Ya half. Ya fe yang emota aku ibu. Kau dah wali lembu kau dah pelaga aku ibu aswa. Leo sa. Sa ni mi ya abay kuro na ufu wo. Li li ozo ya la ufu wo asusi wo. Ele un cheki, un cheki ayi gwi me vere. Bo a chita, mi yen da aswa. Kodi bo ton si tembo. Eh wala. Ade hende peke leja pokro progressive sin. That is mehe. Nde gali hili. Ebe la kwasa ade mehe. Emele mehe ya. Ehe tala, oyo wata krendi iso, ye la mene. Ya ehe le la mene, ta, me wado wende chiche. Ehe la mehe haka wala li. La ken basra, oliliosa. Haka kwe era, haka kwa magatra la choche. Nde choche, hede nye nye ngara cheli yosu, na ya meba, seche nye ebe. Ogo mbo nye choche. 
Let's make better choice. I have one cover go make it one. Ah, my hundred come out last. My can't carry water. Yeah, yeah, ne. Abu Leli be ya. Yeah, yeah, le. My blogger on record ya. Wa mala. We have only a toll yeah yeah. Carry it. La ge he nga. Nye yambe la church. Li hello gara che nye amala endure bo metra. Madi me dio ta gwande church ta. Wende ke nga kweda ga 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 ta. Li hala men patra ha hambo. Bi do la mocho ale mbo. Ho e wili lende e gwagbo. Li hala onya lele de onye. Chuko kike abiyam. Chukun na na nyo chi. Chukun na funi papu na zuzo. Chukun na no nyo diya dojya no nyo diya dojya. O se bulu wa. O ba si bine ni gwe. Gya gya no gwe me chuzo sin piyara na zongwa. Chukun kike keli ye ni ina mano ngwe diye keli ya. O ngwe ki ngwe kene eku. Ngwe ze chukun bu zomba. Aka jwa fu ibu. O se me nte mi mo. Oh, ya ne ku. Ase mo no bi ata roje na chi jire je fo la. Hmm? Chuku o ki kwa bi ama. O nye jire miri siri ke kwa ja. Ma wola je siri ke we kwa mado. Ase mo no bi ata roje na chi jire je fo la. Hmm? Ase mo no do do do. Bi ako i bi ata ata roje. Mo nan na nyo che bi ata roje. Mo yin ni eso bi uwa bi ata roje. Aja ani ibo ni ne, bi ata loji. Ebi ibo, bi doro ne, ebi ibo kose, nase mo no bi ata loji. He? Nase mna ta abu ubo se eke. Ya kanja polo mo eke. Mo ni no mo ubo se eke. Nase mo no bi ata loji. Mo ni ne, omo ubo se eke. Mo ni no mo ubo eke. Mo ni ne bu mo ke te lo ke hambo se eke. Nase mo no bi ata loji. Hmm. Bia no bia taraji na chijiri aji efola. Bia taraji ni simu onwembu onwese chuku bu zomba kaji ofibo. Ose me temi mo. Bia taraji ni simu azen na mo dekano. Boni endo na chumi boni ne. Odo pora yaji sugo. Ano ne kuchite rumi bo. Ano ne kuchite rumo biafra. Ano ne kuchite rumba ni ne. Ase mo no bia taraji ni siya. Bia taraji ni simu mi boni ne. Ebi ibo ku bidoro ne ebi ibo ku sere biata loji ni si ha na na nyo che biata loji oko shimili abara na aboro nyuka aboro nyenta opaka na abono genki ya ase mwono biata loji eze mwa ini ne ne jolo zi biata loji eze mwa nyari ibo nine biata loji eze mwa nyo shimili njaga biata loji eze mwa nyo obwa isho obwa biata loji Eze mwa nyani ke wa wabi ato loji no juno mwa na gani. Hmm. Ase mna wani ikana hefu namba. Ase mdo do do ani ke wa wa. Eze mwa nyi. Mwa nyi dikaro. Mwa nyi obi oma. Ase ngibi ato loji na chijire je fola. Hmm. Ase meze mwa nyi do do bi ato loji. Ido di ikune mo. Eze mwa nyi mwa nebo bi ato loji. Eze mwa nyi ebe nyi bi ato loji. Eze mwa nyi amambara bi ato loji. Eze mwa yini ina mandi chetere mandi me chete Hase mwa no biata loji Na chijire je fola Na kwa no mili siri ke kachuku jire kwa aja We wala je siri ke we kwa mado Hase mwa no biata loji Ma wotara yingo zia yini ina kese na miri webia Hase mna Okwa no mwa miri neku Biata loji Biata loji ni sin na mwa dekano Ma na putara yin na mwa dekano Ni eke nole na fana nkwa Na putara yin mwa biafla Nde no ni mu na poro Nde no 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 na mba ni ne di chiche Nde no 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 go Nde ne wano no ne kuro ha Ya toro jine se ha Ma ni han do ebi ebi Ma na pota ha neke Ma na pota ho geni ne Mo ni na ina so ebi uwa Chi a ina so ebi uwa Chi na mo de kano ji webi uwa Chi umi bo ni ne ji webi uwa Chi umo bi afra ni ne ji bi uwa Chi umo bi afra Chi kwe zi yoku Chuku na funi fafu na nzuzo. Chuku malo nyaki ya docha na unyo biya docha. Nwoke sini ya jofo wa ye sini ya jofo. Manofo malo nye jia. Hmm. Ase mna wadi sange no kuru ngere ngwa. Ase mwono dodo dobi ata roji na chijeje fula. Hmm. 
Ngu genu joke ngu bi na go bi ata loji. Ishe obo ona obo bi ata loji. Ani ona obo bi ata loji, ugu ona obo bi ata loji. Ani tete tete bi ata loji. Hmm. Ase mbi ko do do do. Abara na abara onyu ka abara onyu nta. Opa ka na abara no genke ya. Ase mo no bi ata loji. Hmm. Amadi oha. Abo ko mu gogo. Ase ngi bi ata loji. Ni su mi bo ni ne. Ni su mo bi afra ni ne. Ni su mo ipi obi ni ne. Hmm. Biata roji ni isi ha. Biata roji ni isi mo unwe mu. Bu unwe ze chuko bo zomba. Biata roji ni isi na mo ndeka anu. Ta roji ni ndi ni ndi ni ne. Ni isi ndi ni ne juwe zobi hana zo unwe lo unwe. Biata roji ni isi ha. Notu notu. Hmm. Nye ha ndi renu ndu. Nye yike nye nike. Nye ha amala. Nye ha konoba. Nye ha amamihe. Nye ha. Ndu. Nye ha konu uche. Hmm. Oku ya kan nali unu. Hmm. Hmm. Mo ni ne. Bu mo. Nna mundi kano juwebi uwa. Mo kama no zuzo. Oke mo na biya ste. Ase mo no biya ta loji. Biya ta loji ni isi ngunu woke bo maazo nna mundi kano. Kama na zuzo. Oke mo kama mo. Ase mo no biya ta loji. Biya ta loji ni eke ta loji no li. Ta loji na fo. Ta loji na mkwa. Mo ni ne ne me lui bo ife. Mo ni ne ne me lui bo ife. Ase mo no biya ta loji. Na chijire ji e fola. Hmm. Biara biara taraji, hmm, asem nata abu boseke, nekege ketela nyendo, nekege ketela nyudo, nekege ketela nyama, nekege ketela nyengozi, oge ketela nyudo ni se pamoja, ano, oge. Chukwa kike abia ama Chukwa nafuni fafuna zuzo Chukwa malo nyobi adocha no nyake adocha Kwa kwa nungweze chukwa buzo mbaka jofi Bove meni Yuku Hase mno jofo gana lili Na mwoke sini ya jofo Mwa ye sini ya jofo Manofo malo nye jia Mwoke nako chukwa kike abia ama Mwa ye nako chukwa kike abia ama Chukwe, chukwe, chukwe Hase mne malo nye nako gini me mwone uzi oku Hi malo nye docha Ima alonyo biya docha. Ima alonyo aki ya docha. Hasi mdo dodo. Gya napata unwage. Napata na monde kano. Napata na monde kano. Do dodo chukwo kika biya ma. Umi ibono ni muno korona atafufune ebi uju. Umo biya flano ni muno korona atafufune ebi uju. Bia ke biya talo jini si ha. Ma napata ha. Ma napata ha neke. Napata ha noli. Napata ha nafa. Napata ha. Hmm. Oko na wana agwonele. Hmm. Adi omu unu, mwoni ina ichetere, mandia ina ichetere. Mwoni ina nejera anyozi, na mwoni ina nejerozi, na mwoni ejeru umi ibozi. Ase mgudo dodo, jana biata loji. Hmm, jana biata loji. Nisu umi ibo, ndi noni unogo. Nisu umu biafra, ndi noni unogo. Nisu umu IPOB, ndi noni unogo. Nisu umu, umu oboda ini ine. Nisu oboda ini ine purichi iche, ndi noni unogo. Ase mdo dodo, ya kida na potaha. Biya bulu wa gugwa nsa wenye ha. Biya bulu ndu 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 wenye ha. Hmm. Chukwa kiki ya biya mwenye obi oma. Apo kwa omu unu. Opaka na abano oge nki ya. Ochulagu zobwe nyi. Igrigo ogu mmo. Eh. Hase mwenye biya taroji. Na chiji leje e fola. Hase na bodi ke bodi ke mbosi hike melocha onwa dike. Bodi na mwende kano buwa na mwende kano. Kandi onye obo na nye timbu. Si bu onna mwende kano bu onna mwende kano. Ogini kwamele. Okwa na ona zon wole onwe. Okwa na ona soko odiru ibu umi ibu mma. Na ona zon odimu mma umi ibu. Odimu mma umu biafra. Odimu mma umba nine. Ase mna na mwende kano eje ana bi iti ije. Na ye bi iti ije re ni gana. Ase mni ite gibi ije mmiri. Ni gana di kamiri. Ige eje we iwe na. Ukwi jije ki ige eje we na ta. Hmm. Ase mdo dodo. No wuri ife ge emegi. Aku fese oda ala awa. Ya bonu nini koro gure ono ga koro gure la cha Ono nini koro gure na mundi kano ono Ase mna ono aga dobe Anyo obo na furo na mundi kano kwa wakwa rele Ase mna lila manko ono nanya Ase mna sisa obo na furo na mundi kano uwe tonkwe Ase mna kukufuto ya Ase mna obo na furo na mundi kano chati ya bulu ngu ya Iye bulu ngu ya buwe ya na obo na mundi kano bulu ngu wage Eh? Chino nanyo chue Ose bulu uwa Oba sibi neni igwe Ugwa na ari atuegu. Ogala yangada nga. 
Onye ina kpo tu gboro za anyu gboro ata. Asimu unu do do do. Unu bia ku unu bia nulo na anyi. Bia nulo afu anyi. Bia nulo alele anyi. Eh? Bia nulo ekpele anyi. Bia za anyi ekpele. No no gide no gwo fu wan de mmo. Anyi bu mi gba no go no gwo na fu nde mmo. Eh? Aya kara kan na heri wan goro. Ike enko ta ya ba ya ri anyi. Hmm. Oke mmo ka mmo. Igiri go. Ekene mu ne kene. Ma kano kene di kene ko me lo nwi ke mozo. Hmm, oke mmo. Asim do do do. No de lebo nya de buni mbo ga na mbo mba bu konia. Onye de lebo nya si ko de bo ya na kwa mbo bu ga bu ya. Asim ya bu ndi patara na ali bu. We jiru mi bo na egbu. We na egbu ndi bo ni ne. We na egbu ma fi bo. Asim no ku kwa haji we bate ugbu ugbu umi bo. Asim na haji he ju kwa we na. No ku aga to. Hmm. Onya o se do mi gba ma ndi ndo onya haga ha di ndo onya o se na na mu di ka na ma ndi ndo onya haga ha di ndo onya o se na nya ga ha di ndo onya haga ha di ndo asim no bia di gbo ayi bu onwe ya o ya ka mu wa ngbu nwe ze chukwu bu uzo mbona ago o bia di gbo ayi bu onwe ya o bia di gbo ayi bu onwe ya mo wo mo bia di gbo onye ozo nwori si mburu no kwa nko onye metoro wori si aburu nko onye metoro wori si aburu aga e me bu ihe nwoke metere aga e me bu ihe nwa ihe metere on ke metere kan ge ji simburu onye oza ga hebu ku ye metere hmm aje ani igbo ni ne ana ma ri onu o se buru wa o ke ru si aru ku si ni ne na na ri igbo ana ma ri onu onu bi atara oji mo ni ne na ejeru igbo ozi mo ni ne na ruru igbo olu o ke ofo nje eje mba o ke ofo nje eje ogo o ke ofo nje aje eje o ke ofo na afu ni fa afu na zuzo ofo na anu oji ike asim no ji ofo ga na lele ofo na ekpi ekpi zirezi Ofane ti ibezirezi ofane ti gbo onye ojo ase mu unu bi atara oji bia no bi atara oji na chijire eje efola bia no bi atara oji na chijire eje efola hmm mo na na anyo tie mo ni ne nwura nwuka i di ndo mo ni ne nwura nwuka umi igbo di ndo mo ni ne nwura nwuka na mu di ka anu di ndo mo ni ne nwura nwuka ndi ndo mo ni ne nwura nwuka umu bi afura di ndo ase mu unu bi atara oji na okwara ona agwo na ele ase mu unu bi atara oji no na ga atara oji wo na ma atara oji nwata we be ri aji ikpe hmm ase mu unu bi atara oji we na putara anyi na mu di ka anu ase mu unu bi atara oji we na putara anyi nwere onwu umu bi afura Uno bi ata loji we gbocha ndi mmadi ya ya. Taro loji we na puta umi igbo. Taro loji we me pele umi igbo uzo. Hmm. Taro loji we gozi we umi igbo. We duru ha na eje duru ha na nna. Asim na onye obu na ebe onye onye igbo tie la ka na ga gazele ya. Onye igbo ni gbo ni ru ogbute mma. Ogbu na zo ogbute mma. Ogbu aka ndi ogbute mma. Ogbu aka ekpo ogbute mma. Hmm. Asim ma wa fi igbo na achu wa fi igbo ka ogbu. Asim no zo ku na 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 chiwe li ya. Wa fi igbo bu na na achu umi igbo ka ogbu. Asim no zo ku na 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 chiwe li ya. Onwo mmiri mmiri gbagbu ya. Hmm. No de ma wa fi igbo chu wa wa fi igbo. Hmm. Okwe ni yai na zo bu nwere onwe. Egbe belu go belu nke tv ebe na nkoko aya kwa. Hmm. Asim do do do. No ihe na go ka oduru onyu ku na mma. Ka oduru onye nta na mma. Iyo ma me lanyi me li ba anyi. Iyo ma me li ba anyi me kwa lanyi. Iyo ojo me lanyi me kwa ni ba anyi. Iyo ojo me li ba anyi me kwa na anyi. Ha ri o mu nu nna nna anyi oti e. Na mbu iyo ojo na me ri lu na iga anu na azu. Mbu iyo ojo na me na azu na iga anu na ilu. Mbu iyo ojo na me aka ni na iga anu aka ekpe. Mbu iyo ojo na me aka ekpe na iga anu aka ni. Mbu iyo ojo na me nugu na iga anu na ndida. Mbu iyo ojo na me na ndida na iga anu na ugu. Asim ni iyo bu na iga eri na oya ka iga na enweta. Unu ge ma anyi onye ndo anya ga ha bu ndi ndo ochichi. Hmm. Unu ge ma anyi ndi si. Ai ga bu ndi bu uzo anya ga ha bu ndi ndi ikpa azu. Hmm. Asim ne bo bu na iputara ai ga bu ndi na ezi ihe na obu ihe na ajo ihe. Hmm. Asim no geje zi ihe we mala anyi no ga heje ajo ihe we mala anyi hmm asim na nwoke na tinya ka na ajo ihe asim ana ti we rie ya hmm mmo na na anyo ti e okọ na unu ka na eje rozi okọ na unu kporo mo oku a na obula mu kporo onwo mo oku o ya ka nje ari onu unu ti nya me ezi oku unu ti nya me ezi obi unu ti nya me ezi omume unu ekwona ka nje gide ni ilu na wazu unu ekwona ka nfu ihe amakpo ihe ojo unu afu ni ekwona ka nfu ihe do chasi na odo oji Unu eko na ka fu ye doji si na odo cha. Oko na onye fu unu ni ime mmo na ezi oku na gozi ya ni ime mmo na ezi oku. Asim nunu ga gozi kwem gozi ezi na onom. Gozi em gozi umum gozi ku umum umum. Gozi em gozi obodom. Gozi umu ona obo ni ne. Gozi umu chita cha ni ne. Gozi umu ni ke ni ne. Gozi umu enugu ni ne. Gozi umu bi afra ni ne. Ebu umu bi afra no no. Nunu ga gozi ma ha no tu no tu. Gozi ele ma ha 
Go see the movie, Boni. Ne, the Bobo movie, Bono. When you are young, you are young. 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 When you are Nandi ajo okay anye sunu okay anye ama lo anye aka Asi mounu wano mma bubi anye yaba aka kai wano okay anye Hmm? Mwon nana anye oche Asi mounu wano no mma bubi anye yaba aka Ake ajo okay anye kai wano okay anye Hmm? Asi mdo do do Ni yoma mele anye gemele iba anye Yoma mele iba anye gemele anye Hmm? Asi mna tata Kanna riyono Na yi gabo ndi mwa anye gaha bundi ikbazo Ayi bo ni yula ibute mma ibo na za ibute mma Iyo jo kusiru mwada nozo Ama nkose aye Iyo jo kusiru mwote nozo Ama nkose aye Aye kene eja aye gana Ama kene eja ana bisije Hasi mno kiri kiri kwa ana buko sa Ana nkose aye Aye kene eja aye gana Ama kene eja ana bisije Hasi mno kiri kiri kwa ana buko sa Ana juro di deo nyozu Mkiri kiri kwa ana ilo gane kiri ya Mana hama fuya anya maka nobi kuko Mwa ka mwa Hmm Chukwa kika adi ama Okwa nunu mele ya yabi kuko Aboy kwa mado Oko nuno poro na mude kano aburi ya polo nguya Oye kanji ya dono na patari ya ye Na patari ya ye neke Na patari ya ye nori Na patari ya ye nafo Na patari ya ye nankwa Hmm Asha nano po senano na aribo Kaya gono koge ele nisi ya ye Koge ele nisi na mude kano Koge ele nisi umibo Koge ele nisi umo bi afla nine Koge ele nisi ndi nine cholu udo na aribo Udo nisi mwoke Udo nisi mwai Asha mkaya gono koge ele Na ha chuko kikabi ama Ise 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 he said, he said, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to a great dear friends and lovers of freedom. This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through the auspices of Radio Biafra London. My name is Lemens Mars, Jonathan Chinedu from Olo province of Biafra Land. Today is the 13th day of November 2022. Being a K. Market day, or Botieke Cobo, Tatabo Botieke. Now for Irina Otu, now I mean, no Irina Otu, now for 2022. We are here live and direct. We are here live and direct. Somebody is trying to correct me that today is a effort. No, no, brother, today is a K day. Please. <laughs> Tata Bo Botieke, please. Okay. So we are live and direct. And do not forget that in no distant time I will be joined by Maze Nachi and Maze Chi Nasamuru, members of the Directorate of States, on an interactive session because we we'll continue preaching this gospel our leader have has initiated this enlightenment the fire is burning you know you have to start somewhere you know uh, 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 a fire that can destroy thousands of kilometer of bush it starts with it starts from a place just a single uh, spark that is what this radio biafra is doing Mazen Nam the Kano is to tell it for our education, for our enlightenment. That is the mental liberation. That is why what we do here is to preach the gospel of emancipation without any equivocation. We preach the gospel without fear or favor. You know, <laughs> we don't have no fear in front of our enemies. When we preach, when we handle this microphone, I'm telling you, another spirit, the spirit of Biafra possesses you. Uh, that I'm telling you, because sometimes you think that uh, when we talk here is normal. We are just normal. Sometimes we, we don't even know what we speak. It just come out. That is the reality. Because this is where we worship. We say, hallowed platform. You know, you don't know what you have until you lose it. 
Dear friends, don't know what Mazen Namdekano started. <laughs> this is the era of African awakening. Do you understand me? The era of our own awakening. Mbonye Kulitrebototoya. The European awakening happened centuries back. They woke earlier. Or 16th, 17th century. 18th century. And that is why they were able to conquer and colonize the whole world. Because they work for they work first. And we have been sleeping. But Mazen Namde Kano came and shook us into awakening. And this awakening, we must spread it. That spark. That spark of fire. That is what we are spreading. You can never be free physically. Genuine free, I'm talking of genuine freedom. Not a flag independence, no? I mean genuine freedom. Without mental liberation, genuine physical freedom remains unattainable. You know, yesterday was Saturday. We preached the gospel. The gospel of truth and reality. The gospel of science, scientific. It doesn't matter how people see it. I was going through the same thing. I saw one comment, uh, one comment, or one commentator. He said, "No, leave uh, church, leave religion, and preach. Uh, let us get Biafra." The same thing. The same. You know what I see is that these people they don't listen. They will just say, oh, son, they just go there and type anything and, and run away. Because they cannot face the truth. That is a thing. Today is Sunday, yes. They cannot face the, face the truth. People that are unable to face the truth, they are complex. They are hypocrites. I'm telling you honestly. You know, what we preach... What we are doing, it is catching fire. People are listening. But do you know what? Some people find it difficult to accept that, look, what we were born into, what we have been told right from birth, after all, is far from the truth. That is why some people close their minds. They don't want to even reason about what we talk. That is the only thing. They don't want to, they, they block their mind and say, no, 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 I cannot even try to hear this thing. You know why? You know, when Njobaro, they have Rizio Menala. That is what happened to us. You know, Christianity came into our land and gradually it turned into institutions. Christianity, through Christianity, many people feed. I must be honest with you. You know, they, they start digging to have tap roots so that you have people that are surviving through Christianity, through the proceeds of Christianization of people. You understand what I mean? You have people that, okay, today is Sunday. Do you know how many, how much that has been contributed in churches, in Biafra land, in the wider Nigeria? Do you know how much? You are 100, 100 Naira, you... Uh, you pay you give us offering tight anything 
Some give hundred naira. Some can give five hundred. Some can give thousands, even millions, depending on your height, financial height. Do you know if you calculate it? Do you know how much? Do you know the worst part of it? Do you know that in Nigeria, churches don't pay taxes? <laughs> Do you know that? Churches, they don't pay taxes to the government. And they don't declare. They never declare their financial status to the government. If you understand me, people <laughs> which means the whole money that you are paying to all these uh, churches it is their money no tax deducted no person puts into government doesn't ask them how much you make you know when you say this some people might say no it's good why why should government do it? oh yeah 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 <laughs> there you see Diara. people that don't understand their government of 21st century you don't know that anything you are doing as an individual as an organization you pay tax you don't know that because with tax government goes but in nigeria they remove all this the weave is a weaver they remove it and uh, all these people are making a hell of money out of it that is why they can buy private jets no it's nobody's problem but it should be people's problem because that is where makes me mad they will tell you no leave them god will judge them leave them for god how why should i leave them for god it's a big question i used to ask and they will not they will not be able to answer it why should okay we should hold others other human beings responsible but when it comes to this uh, criminals we call men of god we leave them for god is that what you're talking our our mumu don't do <laughs> our mumu don't do when biafra comes the government biafra government will be above everything everything will be under the control of the Biafran government the on standard under con no person will infringe on your right if you want to worship a uh, broom they might that is your problem but everything should be under the control of government and you should never infringe the right of any citizen it doesn't matter your religion forget what these people are doing they will come from church and go and burn shrines cut trees saying that demons live there and the owners of all this shrine, the community will be crying say leave this for us now they don't care about freedom of worship but whenever you talk about the church and christian they say no why are you talk we have freedom it's freedom of worship i say i call them criminals i call criminals they are because they don't feel for others but they want you to feel for them Biafra we are looking for we regulate everything so that you can you cannot be shouting in the midnight in your church to disturb my sleep saying that if I talk you say no I'm devil <laughs> it's only in the zoo you see all these things you don't have all this shit uh, any other place because system is above government i mean the system is above prayers above religion therefore without taking much time i will bring in i will bring in the members of the directorate of states some of them Mazi China Samoru, they are here already. And Mazi Nachi, they are here already. I'll bring them on, please. But I'll be right back.
sites. A worshipper knows this. No, it is not idol worship. The idol um, is a material representation of a deity which is used in worship. Taking that definition further into biblical sense, it is the image and image of a deity other than God. So hold our thoughts for a second whilst we explore briefly Igbo spirituality, which is the understanding of the nature of existence, the nature of consciousness, the nature of the self and soul. Now, central to Igbo spirituality is the concept of God, Chiku, the great spirit. Chiku is the totality of the aggregation of all chis. Chi, all elements, all objects, everything in creation has a chi. I have a chi. Everyone in this audience has a chi. It is part and parcel of God. The inanimate object as well. The abstractions, this chair has a chi. The floor has a chi. The roof of this building has a chi. Even abstract concepts have a chi. Which means that nothing, absolutely nothing, can exist outside of God, Chiku. Chiku is the aggregation of all the chis. And central to Igbo spirituality is that idea of the unity of creation. Let's now look at prayer, right? Someone is standing in front of a statue or a carving in supplication to a deity or an energy or what have you. We need to understand what the prayer is all about. Now, the Igbo prayer has a standard format. There will be the throwing of chalk, nzu. There will be the breaking of a colonnade. There will be the offering, whether it be food item or sacrifice. There will be the offering, whether it be food item or sacrifice. Chukwa biyama tuanzu. He's inviting God, the supreme being, to you know partake of the throne of chalk. Now the symbolism of that throne of chalk is Uzu is peace, is purity, is spirit. I come to the spirits in peace and purity and love. Throw the Uzu with me, which means meet me in that space of worship with your best and highest qualities. Now he starts from Chuku and talks about and then invites the abstractions like Anya Wonobosi, the daylight and the day, and starts listing the various energies, the Holy Spirit, which is Nawu, Idemili, God's daughter, and continues, goes through the entire list of energies, inanimate objects that he can remember. And at the end, he would say, That is, let everything congregate. Let all of creation congregate. If I name you, if I call you, call your kith and kin, come and join me through Nzu. Let us meet ourselves in a space of love and purity. Once that happens, he then breaks the collar knot. What he's doing in essence, he's communing with all of creation. Now I ask you, what is all of creation? That is God, Chiyuku. He is not praying to an idol. He's communing with the totality of creation. Yes, he may want to work with a certain aspect of God, a certain energy of God. Maybe he wants to address his Ikenga, which is the divine archetypal masculine force. But that prayer to Ikenga, or that request to Ikenga, would start with a supplication to God and all of creation. None of them exist outside of God. The worshiper themselves, or himself or herself, realizes that what he's doing is not worshiping an idol. Because the Ibos have a saying that, um, I'll translate that. Ufike is the non-dibia, the non-magical person. So the point is, a non-magical person or the unenlightened one picks up 
the carving of a deity and believes and has carried a deity, he's wasting his time. That hunk of wood is not a deity. If you want that deity, you go into God. That is where the deity resides. The worshipper knows this, that they're not worshipping idols. They know that they're not worshipping an idol. Welcome back. This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through Radio Biafra London. Today is the 13th day of November 2022, being Sunday. Obochi Eke. I am now joined by some members of the DOS, Maazi China Samoru and Maazi Uchechukun Nachi. Please, Maazi, welcome and Make your introductory statements, please, before we go on. Good evening. There were. There were much in it. Dear friends and all the lovers of freedom, my name is Mazichina Samoru. Mazichina Samoru served the indigenous people of Biafra as a member of the Directorate of State. And this evening, we have come to inform, educate, and clarify certain issues surrounding the Biafran Restoration Project and the continuous detention of our leader, Mazen Nandekano. And here this evening, I am here with my colleague, my fellow comrade, Maze Uchechkun Nachi. We have made it as a duty to make sure that we are always on radio from time to time because we know a lot of people, YouTubers, people come up, we are in a, in a stage where the government have applied more people to carry out misinformation about the Biafra struggle. You can see it written all over. You can see them trying to deceive our people. You can see them trying to cajole our people with their political uh, um, ambition on election and all these things. But this evening, we have come to make sure that the Afrans must always remain focused 
we must always set our eyes on the ball on what we are looking for. Our people have died. IPO became Mazen Nandekane is in the detention not because of Nigerian election. He's in detention because he stood up to defend his people. He stood up to restore Biafra. And that is why all of us are here today. That is why Radio Biafra is talking to you today. That is why many people have died on this course. And for that reason, we who are at the present time handling and managing this struggle, we make sure that dreams and aspirations that moved all our people around the world to join this movement must be respected, guided, and we will make sure that at the end of the day, that what we must achieve is the restoration of Biafra. In order not to take much of our time in the introduction, I will hand over to my comrade Mazen Nachi. Then we will um, set on for the main agenda for the day. Thank you, Mazen Chinese. Thank you, Mazi Chinasa, for that preview. Mazi Jonathan, thank you for what you do for Motherland. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow peer friends, lovers of freedom, and friends of Biafra. My name is I am from Afipo South, local government of Open State. And by the special grace of Elohim, I serve this very noble family, this very mass movement called the Indigenous People of Biafra, IPOB, as your South American representative and also a member of the DOS. Fellow Biafrans and lovers of freedom, we are here today that we may once again keep you alerted, keep you informed, and keep you aware of all that has been going ongoing and the devices of our enemies, the plot of the Nigerian states, and those they have recruited within the struggle to try to blackmail this very noble struggle, to try to give us a bad name within the Nigerian contraption and across the globe. As you are all aware of the plot of the likes of the Attorney General of the Nigerian State Federation, Abu Bakr Malame, do you know everything to bully the Nigerian judges in the judiciary? Do you know everything to do all they can to blackmail our leader? Therefore, this very time is very, very critical. And the most important time, moment in the history of this very, very noble struggle. This is why this day, we must all be attentive and take every critical information coming out from this very hallowed platform as serious as anything. We are in an unusual moment. In order not to fall into the traps of the wicked forces, of the zoos of local contraption, the Nigerian military, the police, 
and its DSS. Remember, they have done all they could. Why playing outside without getting to us? But haven't realized that they need to capture some affluence, some saboteurs, some infiltrators, in order to give Onion Dumas and Amdekano a bad name. That is why the lies of Malame, the Attorney General of the Federation of the Nigerian Corporation, is raising all manners of frivolous charges and garu charges against Africa. But we want to assure him he cannot build all those frivolous charges, kangaroo charges against Onyendumas and Amdekano, nor against Ipo. We are far away. We are far away above him. We want to bring the attention of the world that they may hear the truth and that they may call the Nigerian states to order. We are a peaceful movement, but we cannot be pushed to war. We are a peaceful movement, but we must not be provoked. In everything our leader has been doing, he has always preached peace on this very hallowed platform. He has always preached peace on this very radio platform. He has always admonished us, we the followers, to always be on the path of peace. That is why he believes in a referendum as a solution to our path to the restoration of Biafra. That is why he has always restricted our movements never to choose the path of war. But here in we are today, rather than the Nigerian state, and its government, being led by Muhammad Buhari and his attorney general of the Federation, rather than them being appreciative of the efforts our leader have done towards ensuring peace across even that very contraption, they are hell bent to ascertain that they blackmail him before the war and before the Nigerian judiciary. We have all seen how they kangaroo to their own judges. We have all seen after the 13th of October judgments by the judges of the Abbey Court how the likes of Malame the Attorney General of the Federation of the Nigerian States immediately transferred those judges that made that very noble judgment in ascertaining that our leader is acquitted. It is over a month. The Nigerian state is here to adhere and obey its own judiciary and its own courts. We bring it before the international communities, the global leaders, that they may by themselves observe the tyrannical nature of the Nigeria state and its governments. We know in the world of today, if we do not explain all these things in details, the Nigeria state being 
a government of lies, a government endowed in lies and propaganda. They will as well sell their lies to international community. And then, if you do not hear and get all these things in details, you might be prone to believe in their lies. You might fall into the trap of buying into their propaganda. That is why we are doing all we can to explain to the world bit by bit the genesis of what is ongoing. The Nigerian states, the Nigerian president told the then British Prime Minister Boris Johnson that he will adhere to the rule of law to the judiciary pronouncement of whatever may be the outcome of our leader's situation before the judiciary. He told our fathers who came to visit him at the Azura that rather than political solution that he will and hell to rather the judiciary pronouncements. In other words, the court order. He told our fathers when they went to visit him. It is over a month after the court of appeal. The Nigerian president, Mohammed Buhari, is yet to obey or keep to his own world. We say all these things in details, but the world may bear us witness. That the world may bear us witness. That we have chosen the path of peace, but are now being provoked by the Nigerian state itself. We say all these things that the mother earth may bear us witness that it is the Nigeria state that is by themselves trying to destabilize the Nigeria state, trying to cause mayhem and anarchy in that very contraption. For a government that disobeys its own order, court order, its own judiciary, is a tyrannical government that is plotting to set the whole nation ablaze and in chaos. We say all these things, but humanity may be our witness. That a political conscience, a prisoner of conscience, a prisoner of conscience, in the name of Mazen of the Kano, is there languishing in the DSS custody, being psychologically tortured, or because. He has chosen the way of a democratic process called a referendum. That a prisoner of conscience was extraordinarily rendition all the way from Kenya. All the way like a common criminal into the Nigeria state without the due process. It is over a year. It is over a year. And yet, courts upon courts upon court pronouncements and injunctions have been pronounced even to the court of appeal. The Nigerian state 
and its attorney general and its president, they are yet to adhere to court order. We say it before the world that they may bear us witness that we are pushed to the wall. Our leader must be set free. The Nigerian state must obey its own court order. The Nigerian state must obey the United Nations Court of Arbitration, their own pronouncements. Nigerian state is signatory to United Nations Charter. The Nigerian state is signatory to the African Union Charter. Why then is the Nigerian state, its president, its attorney general of the Federation, refusing to adhere to the rule of law? For international law. We say what we say today that the world may bear us witness of the ongoing in the Nigerian corruption and within its own government. Fellow dear friends, lovers of freedom, my fellow comrades. As Mazi Chinasa said, we must be very, 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 very attentive and at a at this very critical time of our struggle. The zoo Nigeria and its security forces, they are coming in different forms. You have all seen the videos circulating across. They have tried to blackmail the ESN. They could not. And they have now fallen to the point of recruiting misfits and then tagging them ESN or what they call on non-government in order to see how to kangaroo themselves before the Nigerian ju uh, judges and then present frivolous evidence before the Nigerian judges in order to see how to blackmail Onyendu Mazen and the Kami. Therefore, we must be careful, especially those in the Afro land. Mazi Chinasa have come out here to forewarn our people on several occasions. Why we must adhere to our modus operandi, our chain of command. Our own structure for some of us fell behind and some bought to the plot of the enemies. Those who preach Biafra in the day and at night go in secret in collusion with the Nigerian states. Remember, as our leader used to say, not all those who preach is Biafra. Not all those who come, not all who comes out to tell you that oh, we are fighting for Biafra, are indeed fighting for this very noble struggle. You do not obey the chain of command, and you say you are fighting on behalf of Mazin and the Kano. 
the same chain of command that Mazin and Bikanu himself structured and put in place. How then can you say you are fighting for Mazin and Bikanu? These are the people we are talking about. Those who have utilized this very noble struggle for money, through adventure, for their own personal profits. Why they come out on Facebook, tell you all manners of lies in order to destroy IPOB. Because they know if they do not destroy IPOB, then they have no headway. Therefore, blackmailing the leadership is now their mission. But unfortunately, some have fallen apart in this life. Remember, remember, we must be aware of these devices as we'll engage further. We shall unravel so many things and then keep you all informed on the way forward in further exposing them and defeating them completely. Mazi Jonathan, I give back to you the platform. Ndewo Mazi. Um, let's continue on of these discussions. You know, many beer friends, many people are highly interested. Today is the thirteenth, making it one month. Exactly one month that our leader was discharged and acquitted in the appeal court of Nigeria. And up to now, the Nigerian government have been running from pillar to post, playing all kinds of pranks. You know, the first time uh, Malame, the Minister of uh, Justice, or Justice Minister, uh, or Attorney General, sorry, he said that uh, uh, the release of, uh, we talk with uh, the Igbo politicians about the release of Mazin Namdekano, which means it's not about court. So, up to now, they are still holding Mazin Namdekano, albeit illegally, changing judges, jury, in order to get what they want and now they have upheld the seven count charges which has been cancelled by the rendition illegal rendition judgment of the appeal court people are impatient please i want us to talk more on this in order to let our people understand what is happening and the road to follow because we know nigeria is an irresponsible or nigeria runs an irres irresponsible government so please i want you to you people to highlight more about this go on please Okay, Mazi Chinedu, let me come in here. Um, thank you very much, Mazin Nachi, for that um, wonderful introduction. But uh, on our today's topic, like we said, things we are going to touch mainly is just what Mazi Chinedu just raised now. Mazi, like you said, today is one month that our leader has been discharged and acquitted. Uh, but it's unfortunate that up till now, um, Malami, 
and the Igbo politicians are still playing this, uh, you know, delay tactics. They run when you win them on this side. When they won, maybe if you win them in this, they will uh, run to this side from pillar to post, from court to politicians. What we are saying this evening, I, I did not come on radio to interpret their law because we have capable legal uh, team who can be able to interpret and handle them on legal matters. We are not lawyers, we are not uh, son, but common sense tells everyone God says you are discharged and appointed. First, you must obey that. You must obey these rules before any other further engagement. But what we realize is that Malami, you know, when I talk about Malami and talk about, you can't remove Malami with evil politicians who contributed. As I can tell you something, when Onyendu was renditioned to Nigeria, there are evil politicians who went to him, thanking him. Some took some gift to him, thanking him for bringing Mazen Nandekano back to Nigeria so that he will let him come and run his mouth again. Many Igbo politicians, people called him, people visited him to give him a congratulatory message. That is why when the courts have appointed our leader, now most of them are not very comfortable. They have gone into play again. Mazi, last time when I was on air, I said something, and you see many of them panicking. I think it was on this air. I, I didn't, there was no time I said there would be no election in Nigeria or in Biafra land. But even if there is a need to do that, they are not the one to predict for us. If they so much love their election, if they so much love their, their selection process, and it is very, very important for them, and they think the way their election or selection is important for them, they are spending billions of Naira trying to secure everything. The same way Mazen Nandekano release is important to us. It is the same. It's even more bigger. This evening, this is the time for Nigeria to make their decision. We're looking at people. We are watching how the, everybody is running election, election, election. We, IPOB, or the IPOB leadership, we can only just one button but all this election they are screaming everywhere it will come to a standstill the western world it is time for them to rise up they love democracy they, every time they say oh democracy democracy but human rights they don't care or people are being killed our people are being adopted many because of Mazen Nandekano in detention, because of the Biafran struggle, none of them, even the Western world coming, uh, come to talk about democracy. Democracy to who? Who are you doing democracy for? Only for their own interest. As long as we know, and as long as we understand the politics of the Western world, who was our people, they, they also play the role. You know, when you talk, some people say, don't talk. We are not those people you can push and say, don't talk. No, we know what we are saying. As long as America wants a constant flow of oil from our land to, to, to the West, they do anything. They can see our Biafra struggle Yes, it may be genuine, but it's not important for them. What is important is oil. How long can they keep Nandekano? How long oil will continue to flow? This is very, very important for them. And we are asking them, as they want their oil to flow, as they want the democracy, their so-called democracy that have never benefited us anything, as they want it to move on, they must also consider 
that the detention of Mazen Nandekano is capable to destabilize both their oil flow, able to destabilize their democracy agenda, able to destabilize Nigeria, even in the next 50 years, they cannot bring it together. They must have all these things in their agenda. Because we are not coming to tell them your law say this, your law say that, the lawyers are doing that. But as an IPOB member and those in the leadership of this movement at the moment, we are letting Nigeria know there are consequences for keeping Mazen Namdekano without releasing him. In life, it's all about you give and take. What we are asking is give Mazen Namdekano to us. The consequences of continuing to detain him is very, very numerous. Now, they are keeping him. Last time, the lawyer came out and said they are not giving him his medication. Dear friends, every one of us must make sure we have our Twitter days. Continue to be there. We must continue to mount campaign. Sometimes people say, what are you doing? We just talk, talk. Yes. We must continue to inform the international community, the Nigerian community, the Nigerian public about the consequences of if anything happens to Mazen Nandekano in the hands of the DSS dungeon. Because they know Mazen Nandekano need a medical treatment. They won't let him die in that place, God forbid. They said he was sick. It was lack of uh, this thing. It, if you make up as you say, it was natural cost. We will not accept this kind of rubbish. It is better Nigeria respect their own court verdict. Let Mazen Namdekano walk away unconditionally. Arrange a date for referendum so that their friends can demonstrate if they want to be part of Nigeria or not. Years back, when we are talking about these issues, they don't take it serious. But today, all of them now are moving around on election, the politicians, everybody, they are on there because they feel they have people they are using to destabilize what IPOB. They want you to talk a different topic apart from the unconditional release of Mazen and the Kano. I want everybody to be very, very careful and listen very attentively the games they are playing so that we put less interest on the unconditional release of Mazen Namdekano. There is nothing they are doing now. They just planned it yesterday. No. These things, they planned it before they went to adopt Mazen Namdekano in Kenya. But all the plans they have dished out, no one is working as IPOB have been able to dismantle all every propaganda, every attack they have brought towards this struggle. Most of you can bear me witness that as soon as Mazen Namdekano was renditioned, I told many of my comrades, I told them, our first duty first is to make sure we say, make sure that Mazen Namdekano is alive. Make sure that the people have access to him. That is the first thing. But bringing him out the following day, after one month, it is not going to be possible because they are, they feel now they are holding Mazen Namdekano. They think they can use that opportunity and destabilize IPOB internally, destroy the IPOB leadership, destroy the family unit, destroy ESN, destroy everything so that even I was, I told by the stage of for the other day, I told him, if IPOB fell in this fight, you will even go to want to see Mazen Nande. Can DSS will tell you, you cannot see him. There is nothing you can do. If IPOB is not intact, if IPOB have not maintained their, their ground by now, they would Access for you to see Mazen Namdekano. We, we, we understand the game. We understand their plans. 
We know because from the time they rendition Mazenam and the Kano, they want to make sure they destroy IPOB leadership. Most times, people come on social media, they say, Chidas, I want this ticket. Ask them. Apart from black men, let them give you something tangible. I mean, tangible. They have none. Only black men, day in, day out, because that is what they are taught. They told them, IPOB, we did not blackmail anybody. Anything we are talking, if you look deep, we may not have a complete data, we may not have all the information, but what we have is enough. The information in our disposal will be enough to confront you. This is IPOB. When we say you are like this, we have enough evidence to prove to people that what we are saying, we are right. Every one of you, they have deceived. Every one of you, they have taken away from the Biafra struggle. It is time for you to go back and sit down and reflect. Why is all this thing happening? Is because they want you to take away, they want IPOB to be fighting on the public, they hold Mazen and the Kano. Because there was a time after I think two, three months till early this year, when you talk to somebody, you said, No, IPOB, they have troubles. They are in disarray. Uh, that no need to talk to them. Who told you IPOB is in disarray? They have an internal problem. They are trying to impose that we have problem. And that was the first statement. People can bear me witness. Mazi Chuku, the former, can bear me witness. Mazi, um, um, Mazi Chike Dozim can bear me witness. Mazi Abanim can bear me witness what I am saying this evening. The same day, every one of you, every one of you knew that Mazi Nandekano was out there. There was no problem. IPOB was moving very well. But this infiltrator, when they said to hand him over the radio, to, to allow him to broadcast on Radio Biafra, when we have the first conversation, when Mazo Foma invited him, the first language that came out from his mouth, that this, why should we wait for five days before we call him, that he has come to fix IPOB, that IPOB have a lot of problems. I was, we were shocked, and I shut him down. I shut him down, I said, keep quiet. You don't know what you're talking, which IPOB have problems. But many of you will not believe, because you like those who lie for you. That is why the politicians continue to deceive us, deceive many of you every year, year in, year out. The politicians continue to tell you lies, because you love lies. You don't like those who tell you the truth. Now, when we stop them from the radio, boom, all hell, all, all, all hell get loose from America. And we have said this thing on many occasions. If you are not part of IPOB, if you are not in IPOB from 2014, 15, let's say 15, 16, 17, anybody that came into IPOB after our leader arrived in Israel, when he's talking, listen to him very well. And when those who are in 215, 216 are talking, listen to them also. Because when we fail to hand them over the radio, what happened? All these things is because what you are seeing today is all they have planned, executed, and it could not work. And they, are, as you see, they are holding Mazen Namdekano. They are taking his case back to Binta Nyako. This is all a game. They are trying to find something to distract me and you. And most of you are not connecting the dots. When this things happen, all of you were here shouting, oh, they will find on radio. Mazi Chinedu, I don't know if you have this. Thank you, thank you, um, uh, Metusela Wachineke. Metusela, who went to the Radio Biafra archive? That broadcast was in 2015 by Onyendu. I don't know, Mazi, if you have that 
broadcast. I would like you to just to play it a few seconds so that I can continue to illustrate on why Mazen Namdekano must be released. Because for every game, the Nigerian government are all the agent provocateurs have is, is displayed, have all failed. And it's not going to work, not today, not tomorrow, as long as people like the DOS members still remain in this struggle. As long as hardline IPOB members, they still exist. As long as IPOB media still exists. Mazi, if you have that program, if you don't have, if you have that um, audio, when our leader talk about this radio, then you can play it from there. People can understand what I'm talking. And I will move forward to explain why they must release Mazen Namdekano because all their gimmicks, all their plans will never work and it is not going to pay them. Instead, they are bringing more problems for themselves. Mazen, you mean the place where, uh, you know, cut by um, the Mazen? Methuselah. Methuselah. Yes, Methuselah. Okay, yes yes yes, 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 yes. I will play yes. it. Play, let, let, the, let, let everybody hear. Okay. Just hold on, I'll do it. Still on the eighth day of February, you are starting to listen to the voice of Biafra VOB. So what is this nonsense? They are trying to draw attention to themselves. Let us see if they will expose their behind in the process. The official radio station for all indigenous people of Biafra, under the leadership of the Supreme Council of Elders, is the voice of Biafra, which can be found at their web. Oh, it is about publicity. Okay. They want to use this thing to gain publicity. And all those evil men who are corrupt and disgruntled, where they can go and claim they are Biafra for one day and then go back and be like, is that what this whole nonsense is all about? I thought it was something very serious. <laughs> Okay, okay, they want to draw attention to say that they have, okay, it is no longer Biafra Voice International. They have changed the name. They have changed the name. Ewo, the voice of Biafra. I can see that. There is no problem. That is their official radio. Okay, no more BVI. It is now VOP. First it will be COV and VBIC. Mad people. You will try and see if you will succeed. So that is, please don't worry yourselves. They are trying to draw attention. There isn't anything here. Sit at home has been activated. If you, if you, Maz, I think this is what you mean. Maz, that is exactly what I mean. Now, dear friends, I want everybody to listen very well. This, as he said, as the infiltrator himself said, that they are launching. This voice of Biafra on 8 February 2022. That was early this year. Now, every Biafran, if you are on social media now, right now as we are talking, I want you to go to Facebook. When you go to Facebook, you type that voice of Biafra 97.5. If you are on Facebook, Go and type that voice of Biafra 97.5. You will see it on Facebook. If you can see it on Facebook, please, as time is going, maybe during the time of question, you can, if you have seen it, you can be able to confirm. Mazi, this voice of Biafra radio, the, the FM they are talking about, this page, this particular Facebook page or group was created on February 28th, 2012. On February, on February 28th, 2012, 2012. That means in 2012, this guy is nowhere found in IPO. This guy was nowhere to be found in anything pertaining to Biafra. It doesn't mean that somebody cannot come here today, but I'm trying to educate our people to understand that. This particular page that they handed him over, then he changed the name, added some things on April 2nd, 2022. 
on April, and the group now, now is located in Finland. This is this particular page was owned by late Dr. Ike Dife, this Billy Emeke Emeke Sreden, all this um, Biafra Voice International. This is one of their pages. This is the pages of those Supreme Elder Council, all these, all these people, all those Igbo Supreme Court, this in Igbo, Emeke Emeke Sreden, all this group. This was a page they were controlling. And when we refused, they, they, when we told them these people are all Nigerian agents, they now brought him, hand him over. It had 15,000 something followers. And they started to use it and continue to. This, this radio have gone underground since. Nobody, when we only do knock them in 2015, that is just the voice message you have just done now. Sometimes we may have some information, but it's good we get like like Metusela is doing, going to the Radio Biafra archives, bringing out some important broadcast that can solve many mysteries that people don't understand. We may have this page, but when you try to show it to our people, they will tell you, oh, it is propaganda. But thank God, the moment he brought this, we, I said, okay, this broadcast that can solve many mysteries that people don't understand. We may have this page, but when you try to show it to our people, they will tell you, oh, it is propaganda. But thank God, the moment he brought this, we, I said, okay, this broadcast that can solve many mysteries that people don't understand. We may have this page, but when you try to show it to our people, they will tell you, oh, it is propaganda. But thank God, the moment he brought this, we, I said, okay, this broadcast that can solve many mysteries that people don't understand. We may have this page, but when you try to show it to our people, they will tell you, oh, it is propaganda. But thank God, the moment he brought this, we, I said, okay, this broadcast that can solve many mysteries that people don't understand. We may have this page, but when you try to show it to our people, they will tell you, oh, it is propaganda. But thank God, the moment he brought this, we, I said, okay, this broadcast that can solve many mysteries that people don't understand. We may have this page, but when you try to show it to our people, they will tell you, oh, it is propaganda. But thank God, the moment he brought this, we, I said, okay, this broadcast that can solve many mysteries that people don't understand. We may have this page, but when you try to show it to our people, they will tell you, oh, it is propaganda. But thank God, the moment he brought this, we, I said, okay, this broadcast that can solve many mysteries that people don't understand. We may have this page, but when you try to show it to our people, they will tell you, oh, it is propaganda. But thank God, the moment he brought this, we, I said, okay, this broadcast that can solve many mysteries that people don't understand. We may have this page, but when you try to show it to our people, they will tell you, oh, it is propaganda. But thank God, the moment he brought this, we, I said, okay, this broadcast that can solve many mysteries that people don't understand. We may have this page, but when you try to show it to our people, they will tell you, oh, it is propaganda. But thank God, the moment he brought this, we, I said, okay, this broadcast that can solve many mysteries that people don't understand. We may have this page, but when you try to show it to our people, they will tell you, oh, it is propaganda. But thank God, the moment he brought this, we, I said, okay, this
fun. Um, so we have a, a very, very, very special guest um, with us today, um, Dr. Uju Anya. Um, and she is a professor at Carnegie Mellon University in applied linguistics. Yeah. Um, and so welcome. So I had two more questions and I want to open it up. Um, has this experience changed the way? Because like you said, you kind of go in, you use Twitter. This is Constructive Argument on Radio Biafra with Marcy Ikechuku Onoha. Bring your argument and we've got the solution. Constructive Argument. We heat below the belt. Radio Biafra, we've got you covered. Good evening from here in UK, where everybody and anyone listening wherever you may be in the world, I greet you and I pray that uh, Heavenly Father continue to protect and lead them as in that they can a speedy um, exit from the dungeon where he is. Uh, so let the word of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. We are continuing with this history about what happened to Biafrans. We are currently going to talk about the Onetia invasion. That's the Onetia sector. The reason why it's in the sector is because they surrounded us. So each corner of the battle, we call it sector, S-E-C-T-O-R, sector. So this is your Onetia sector. It's not too difficult to follow what happened because, as you know, we, we've been, if you like, removed from the mid Midwest. So the next town after Asaba, of course, is Onetia. And it's like a prized possession. They're rubbing their hands. They want to taste the Biafran's internist and destroy everything that moved. So it's not surprising that the invasion of Onisha was meant to be ferocious. So there are three components to the invasion of Onisha. There are three waves of invasion. The first two were waterborne. They have to cross the Niger Bridge. They have to cross the River Niger, rather, because we blew the Niger Bridge when we escaped or retreated from Asaba. The Niger Bridge was destroyed, so they couldn't use the Niger Bridge to enter Onisha. So they could only come through River Niger by boat. So I will talk about the first two invasion, and then given the time we have, if we have enough time, then I'll start talking about the third invasion. We may have to defer because the third invasion involved a bag in an um, ambush. So let me begin then by talking to you about the Onisha invasion. Onisha, of course, is a prized possession for, for Nigeria because if you cross into Onisha, then you can go from anywhere, you can go into the actual heartland of Biafra, you can go to where you can go to, and you can go anywhere. And it's so close to the other side of Nigeria, they can just move in and, 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 and the, the war, there'd be very little chance of us resisting. In other words, the nature of fighting is very, very difficult. So the nature sector was very important to understand. Recall that Nsukka has fallen, Ogoja has fallen, Enugu has fallen. They have attacked us in Calabar, Bonne Island, they are there. And now they want to cross from Onitsha, from Asaba into Onitsha. So this is where the, if you like, when the going gets tough, the tough gets going, or some people re resign and surrender. If they entered on it, it will be very difficult for us to continue the fight. So the people who are going to defend them are the ones who escape from the Midwest, completely disorganized, because uh, we, we talked last time about how saboteurs were trying uh, to, to run, literally destroy the fabric of their own military. Everywhere you turn, there's a saboteur. But this occasion, when we crossed over into Onita, we have to make sure we're able to defend. It's like a do or die, as it were. So the, the boys waiting at Onita, they had to now toughen up, as it were, because it's the last ditch. So I'll talk to you about the first invasion. The people confronting the uh, troops at Onisha was called the 2nd Division, uh, led by Muratella Mohammed. 
he doesn't need any introduction about how one, how he wants to defeat the Biafrans. But um, it's against the background because Mauritania Mohammed was a one of the pupils in Tessie, Ghana, when Ojuku was instructing there as a as a as a, a trainer. So Mohammed was asked to write an essay on how he would um, capture Onisha from Asaba. So if like, um, it's, it's interesting. So he's now got an opportunity to do it in real life. So what Mohammed did was to gather serious firepower equipment. He wanted to immediately chase the Biafrans across the Niger, um, but he, his troops stopped at Asaba. As you know about the Asaba massacre, they spent days mopping people door to door. Even when they gathered in town square, they killed as many people as That slowed them down. That delay allowed the Afghans to try and reorganize. So um, that, that's really what happened. So we're now talking, therefore, around the 4th of October. Before the 4th of October, um, when the invasion came, um, what they did was to do what we call shelling. Shelling is when you send an artillery miles away from where you're staying. So from a suburb. You can imagine you can send the missile or artillery which land in Onisha, which our people didn't quite understand that Tenugu. If I told, if I remember what I said last time about Tenugu, they will shell us and then people go and chase where this bomb has landed and say the saboteur is there. So this time it's becoming clearer. So on the fourth of October, the shelling of Onisha be began. It became very very heavy. So much so that the civilians started to evacuate from Anisha. But the shelling was coming from Asaba. Okay? So, from they used about eight to ten boats um, to cross the Niger with all the equipment. And um, it was a very interesting um, encounter in the first invasion. Because what was happening, the Biafrans were waiting on the other side of the shore after the shelling. Um, which um, was a, a heavy bombardment, as it were, with a long artillery. So they they set off in, in, in the, on the day of the invasion. And um, what then happened was, as they were coming across in the middle of the, if you like, a, a, a set of boats coming, and then when they got to the middle, they split into two. Yeah, Some went to um, down towards the... Uh, the new, um, what is it, the market, the Onisha Market Beach, and the other one went to the the actual head bridge. So they the split into two. So what happened then was that the Biafrans waited when the shelling stopped, so the Nigerians embarked. They came out from their boats, and why would they do that? Because when uh, they were doing all the shelling, we only had six rounds of bombs to throw at them. Out of the 20 rounds we had, six were fired, and then the machine packed up, so we couldn't lob any more artillery. So the, the, the Nigerian boats got closer and closer, but they are their boats. If you fire something that's armor plating, the bullet just bounced off. So they were really gaining the upper hand. So, so, so it, it was a pretty drastic thing. So after the got closer to shore uh, and all the bombardment from their heavy equipment they had.
anyway because we are in an electronic world anyway so i think our voice should be coming out right now therefore we are on an interactive session on radio biafra london with mazi china sanwuru and mazi uchechuku nachi therefore we will continue and uh, uh please if you are hearing my voice please continue where you stopped everything is okay right now go on please on radio they said it's okay now Mazi. yes it's okay it's okay it's okay so, um, um my fellow Biafrans, yes. yes, yes. My fellow Biafrans, the, uh, like voice I was of, saying, you are talking about the voice of Biafra issue, something like that. The voice of, yes, the voice of Biafra issue. And I am sure everybody by now have gone to Facebook, search it. I have also posted it on my own timeline, Facebook timeline, these few minutes that uh, uh, um, we are having these technical issues. So if you go there, you will see it by yourself. You don't need anybody to tell you anything. Even if a short video of the distance, they are all there. These are people that have, when Mazin Nandekano defeated them in 2015, they went, all went underground. Everybody is supposed to ask himself, where is this file um, carrier? Lower Niger and the uh, have all of you forgotten when Tony Nadi said that IPOB members, that was in 2000 and, 2000 and, uh, um, 20, 2020, when he made an audio, he said that Nandekan and all IPOB officers are supposed to be executed. Have every one of you forgotten? Where is he today? They, when they made those statements, they know how serious we took those statements. They went on the ground. They needed a new person. To come to champion what they are doing because all all of them you are seeing out there their hands are inside they are some of them are putting petitions writing to the government don't leave this person don't leave him destroy them they are on contract what they are doing is what we know the foreign nigerian government only are not nigerian government is not only Part of this, the evil politicians, the enemies of Mazen Namdekano, the enemies of this struggle, all of them, they are all playing this game. Why the Nigeria government is holding Mazen Namdekano? Those ones are being given money. That is why you see these infiltrators. Anything they found out that IPOB is doing, they jump on it. They try to claim it. Because they are trying to demonstrate to the government that they are in control, that they are holding IP, because that is how agent provocateurs behave. And I want every one of you to know, sometimes there is no need to call. When the war starts, we will know who to classify as saboteur. The war has not fully an outblown war. Now, we must always classify these people because this is a war. In most cases, when you write this agent provocateur, people in Brazil, they know it. People in Asia, they know it. Around the world, if you use agent provocateur and they make a tweet or write an article on it, you will find people all around the world telling you, yes, agent provocateur, we are used in our, these people use it. So let us always use the right word so that the international community Institutions outside will understand because the moment you say agent provocateurs, they know. They know who. They know the job of agent provocateurs. They know. When they see them, immediately they classify them. They know this is an agent provocateur. And these agent provocateurs are the reason why Mazin Namdekano, because they are the ones giving the Nigerian government hope. Hold him, we are attacking them. Don't worry, we will destroy China Samoru. We destroy Chike Dozim. We will destroy this. And they come in any form. Uh, uh, let me tell you, they are coming. They even they will even use people close to Mazen Namdekano 
to attack the leadership of IPOB. They can even use his brother. If he allow himself to be used, they can even use anybody. Anybody they can use. Their main purpose is to destroy IPOB. Destroy the leadership. And they themselves now will talk. People now will be paid with upon the money they are giving and everybody will be let loose. Nigeria is not ready to fight IPOB, another word, because the international community, they are watching. This is not 1967 to 1970. The IPOB leadership has met, they have stepped into places to, 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 because of the unconditional release of Mazen Namdekano. Even as they have given Mazen Namdekano this acquit, this charge and acquitted uh, verdict, the IPOB leadership, we have contacted countries, diplomatic missions, with the court judgment. There is something some of you don't understand. We don't have to come and say it outside. But sometimes we need to tell our people. The judgment for Mazin Nandekano is a judgment that no international community, this, this judgment gotten by, by, by the legal team, no international community will go through it that will not lend their voice for the release of Mazen Namdekano. And the IPOB leadership has made sure that all those, and the, not, no need to mention on air, we know some countries have already tabled these things in several areas. We have seen what they tabled. And what we are saying is this. We need to be very, very tactical. This is not the time. Don't allow people to bring you on social media to entertain you. To bring you on social media to deceive you. Our people, these people you call the evil people, they are horrible human beings. I know sometimes if you look at from the war, when the war finished, but, but, Mazen Namdekano, where they standing for him, have we all forgotten? How did Mazen Namdekano become a saint for them now? How? Ask yourself this question. Before the detention, uh, adoption of Mazen Namdekano, who, those who loved him are our people, those who are following this struggle. But the political class never loved him. They never loved what he's saying. They never loved what he's doing. They never loved Biafra. They want to tell us that Biafra is uh, having good road. Biafra is having electricity. They have never. Even in their village, they cannot give light to their villages. They are telling us Biafra is this. Suddenly, Mazen Namdekan is in detention. Some of them will come to you. They blackmail you. They will come. China Sawaru did this. China Sawaru did that. China Sawaru did this. Chike Dozem did this. You ask them. Have you ever asked them? Because we are standing in the gap. We know the plans of the Nigerian government, and we know the trap they want us to fall into. We know. That is why you say this is ESN. Somebody come out and tell you now he's the ESN. You say this is IPOB media warrior. He come out, he, say, he claim. He tell you this is Radio Biafra. He come, he say, even online, people, most of you don't understand that this criminal and infiltrator go to Google. He still put in his profile as the director of Radio Biafra. Imagine somebody who don't know about Biafra. He introduced himself. Somebody, he said, look at my CV. Go to, go to Google. Look at most of his profile he kept on social media. He still put himself as the director of Radio Biafra. These are questions you have to ask yourself. What is the purpose of this person doing this? What is the purpose? Why are they doing this? Who are they working for? Even if you are a witch, witch doesn't behave this way. So what is it that is your problem? Number one, you don't know China Sawaru before now. You don't know me. This is the questions I want many of you to ask because I want people to sit back and reason. This guy calling China Sawaru, ask him, do you know China Sawaru? When did you know China Sawaru? When? Did you know Chike Dezim? When did you know Chike Dezim? 
If you have spoken to China Sawaru how many times and on what occasion? You do this, you do you talk about this woman talking where everything is to make sure they take away our attention. Now you have seen the side they are going. When they cannot attack the IPOB leadership, they have moved into the legal team. They have now started attacking the legal team. Ask yourself, this person attacking Parastifanya Jofo, who stepped into this case in 2015, or 16, 2015, I think late 2015 or 16, I can't be sure exact month, and he has remained committed remain committed in this struggle to defend Mazin Nandekano. He has refused to be bought over. Parastin Fanny and Jofo have released hundreds and hundreds of Biafrans being detained by the Nigerian government. Several attempts have been made on his life. Likewise, Barista Ejimako, all those people have a price they are paying for defending IPOB members. Most of them can no more walk freely because they are defending IPOB. And somebody came out somewhere, you have even time to listen to him, to tell you he's going to attack Ifanye Jofo, how he's holding. Now, they, they, they are shifting because they cannot defend they can no more, they know that the leadership of IPOB is far, 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 far ahead of this game. Now they want to go to the legal team because when they go to the legal team, they will attack Bareste Geofo, attack uh, Bareste Jimako, attack uh, Bareste Nemeke Geofo. They will put confusion so that somebody will say, I will not be going to court. I am tired. I don't want to continue. That is all what they want. Now they will bring somebody like Obeta. I don't know how many of you knows Obeta. Many of you did not know that Obeta presently is a special assistant to Enugu state governor. This type of lawyers is the ones they want to bring for Mazen Nandekano. This type of lawyers is the ones they want to bring for Mazen Nandekano. He came on this thing and said that Onyendu is guilty of what the Nigerian government is charging him. He's guilty of treason. He's all better said it on a live program. This is the type of lawyers they want if they push Barestifani and Jofo out, push Ejimako out, push Sano. Ozo. They have some of them have insulted uh, San or um, uh, Chief San Ozekome. If some of you don't know, they have called him and threatened him. Some of you don't know about it. The same people you see. Threaten him how they will kill him for coming to defend your own. The person you say is your leader. The person you say is your everything. You are threatening the legal team that is defending him in the court. How many lawyers in Biafra land when you see some of them running around in Abuja, we have many people in detention. Sometimes I tell some of the lawyers, you want to work for IPOB? We have people in detention in Imo State. We have in Abuja. We have, why everybody is focusing in Abuja? Everybody wants to go and take over. Nobody wants to handle. We have people in Delta State in detention. We, if you are a lawyer, you know you have people. We have people in Ibocha in prison, in Cross River, in Akwaibo, in Ebony State. None of them, Parastifanye Jofo, while handling the case of Mazen Nandekano, goes down to a Boni state for cases for IPOB members. The ones he can go by himself, he will go. The ones he will send people, he will send. And if some of you don't know, some of our members that are released, Barestifanye Jofo, sometimes he pay, he will call, he said one day, you people don't worry, oh, this 100,000 I will pay, I will pay and they let him come out. This is 200, he do support, he don't only stand for IPOB. When he found that some critical case, he cannot wait for IPOB leadership. Maybe we are trying to get money, he said one day, we, I have done that one. This is all I can, what I will support. This is the person 
Tomorrow, somebody will come on Facebook to attack him. And like many of you did not know that Voice of Biafra has been there since 2012. 2012. And when they have failed to destabilize the struggle so that Mazen Nandekan will continue to be in detention, they now give it to somebody. Say, use this one. Since they refuse to give you the radio, take this one. And he thought it would be easy. I'm not the only one on this program. Uh, we give also Mazen Nachi the opportunity to comment on this particular topic. But one thing I want to say for the unconditional release of Mazen Nandekan for Nigeria to respect that court order. Let me tell you, we know our capacity. I can tell you, there is nothing more confident that when you look at yourself, you said, I can fight this fight. Before you see IPOB, before you see IPOB leadership, before you see Mazin Nandekano talking on radio, people are behind him, not politicians. Not politicians. You know, it pains me that sometimes people come to insult IPOB leadership. Whatever Mazen Nandekano is today, it is IPOB have made him. I could remember one thing he told me. One day, somebody gave him a gift and we were talking. He told me something. He said, I said you know, I'm telling you about this. We are going to use it for our... We're going to use it to support our people, help our people. I said, really? Ah, I said, only do thank you. He said, why? Why will he, he told me, he said, they gave me this money because they know I'm the leader of IPOB. If I am not IPOB leader, they won't give me this money or they won't give me this gift. Do you understand me? He said, they won't give me anything. It's because of IPOB. They know IPOB. They know the strength of IPOB. That's why certain things, people give it to me because of the work we do. So when it comes to me, I return it back to the society, to our people. That is a leader. And we have learned those things from him. If somebody will come, you insult somebody like Tina Saworu. You insult somebody like Chike Dozier, members of the DOS, people who have stood behind our leader in thick and thin. You come out. When somebody tell you something, instead for you to listen, you think you can insult him. We have no problem of insult. But one thing is that, are you trying to destroy this movement? Are you trying to keep Mazen Nandekano in dungeon? Because the Nigerian government want to see IPOB in internal problem, fighting, killing, maybe to a way you started killing yourself so that your attention is taken away from your leader. They can play on the court. When we start fighting internally, we may not be able to organize our protest. Those who will go will become disgruntled. If you want to do anything in diaspora, there will be oppositions. That is what they want. So that they say the number of IPOB uh, uh, followers of Nandekan is dwindled. So let us continue fighting. Maybe in the next one year, we can finish them. But we need to show Nigeria this early, early as possible for them to understand that. This conspiracy, this type of game, these things they want to play, that we are more smarter than them. We must know this and make it very clear for them. This is a message we must send to the Nigerian government. Continuous detention of Mazen Nandekan will have a dear consequences. Either in their democratic process, in their election, we don't know how it will happen. But let me tell you something. We don't care. They come, you know, the West know how to threaten people. They come, they say, that, come and sign. You won't disrupt democracy. Then the West, they are all there. We are dying. They are killing us. Instead to talk about killing us, this is the same thing they did during the Ogoni, when they want to kill King Saruwa. When Ogoni people were rising up to protest about the killing, about the, they will start kidnapping they will start other robbery. The news media will focus. If you go to the West, the West won't talk about the protest in Ogoni concerning King Saru. What they will talk about is kidnappers. They will talk about 
all those criminal activities. This is what they will be talking, writing about kidnapping here. The same game, the same script they are playing today. Instead to talk about the human rights abuses, instead of them to talk about the illegal detention of Mazen Nandekan, his rendition case, every day they talk about kidnapping there, kidnapping here, insecurity there. But look at the bone of contention is you are holding an innocent man, a man fighting for the freedom of his people, a prisoner of conscience. They gave us these words. They told us that when somebody fighting did nothing, fighting for the freedom of his people, and it is called prisoner of conscience. They brought these languages to us. Why is it that when we spoke these languages, we talk about prisoners of conscience, they will turn deaf ears. They prefer to talk about kidnapping. The news media, all they write is about, look at them, what they are, oh, kidnapping in Zamfara, kidnapping in Niger Delta, don't go here, don't go there. All these things, it is also an international conspiracy. They want people to put attention on kidnapping, on criminality, and all these things. They want you to do, talk about democracy and talk about, don't talk about your human rights. Don't talk about the killings. Don't talk about the holding the referendum for Biafran freedom. And that is where most of our people have fallen prey to. But I will stop here because we still have many topics to talk about. And uh, till we go to the other one, I will continue to explain and we'll continue to be on radio to educate our people. Mazi Chinedu, thank you so much. Mazi Nachi, please take over. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mazi Chinese. Um, you said it all. Um, just um, in addition to what you said before coming back to the, to while um, Malami have uh, continuously disobeyed court order in the immediate uh, and unconditional release of our leader, Mazin Alikan. Mazin China said there was something you mentioned, and you were like, um, he's accusing um, the infiltrator and those uh, gullible followers of his, accusing um, the Lego team. It is not just an accuse. One, one thing Biafra should, at this very critical juncture, be asking why has this fellow, this very unconsequential individual, ever since he came in 2020 into the struggle, why has he done everything to blackmail the real key stones? foundations that have kept this very noble movement intact over the years even before he dreamt of joining or fighting or speaking about biafra or the biafra struggle why you know these are the questions our people should be asking then it won't be difficult to come to a clear conclusion that this is a criminal. This fellow is working in conjunction with some evil criminal political elites who are in return working with the zoo government, the Fulani oligarchies. They are in true bad The ones who are doing as if they are fighting for Biafra are working with the evil criminal elites who are in politics. Why the evil criminal elites are the ones now working directly with the zoo government? Why did, why is he blackmailing, why did he blackmail the wife of our leader? This is the question. Irrespective of whom you are supporting, but you are seeing it before your very eyes. He blackmailed the wife of our leader. He called on all those gullible followers of his who are in conjunction walking alongside with him. Blackmail the wife. Blackmail the wife. This is the wife, the mother who gave birth to the children of our leader. The 
question you must ask is that person in love with your so called leader? A question you must ask. He turned around, looked at the foundation who are the leaders of the movements. Oh, the DOS. And then he raised up allegations. They have collected money. Marzi, let me just say it here before peer friends. They even said that there is a latest money in circulation. That the South American rep has been given huge amounts of money. And that uh, the South American rep uh, that I refuse to dispose the money. And that there is a war with the leadership. And we are like, where is this one coming from? Dear friends, these people are on a motive. A very clear one indeed. That we must at this critical juncture kill off the propaganda. And disassociate from anything to do with this very criminal individual and individuals. Because, of course, they are not one, but they have a spearhead. They are spearhead being the infiltrator. The one they said uh, is in Finland. They can't blackmail the leaders. These are the, the safety U.S. that are stood Bone to bone, man to man, shoulder to shoulder, with the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Oyen Dumadi, Marzen and Nekano, over the years, not just in 2021, when he was extraordinarily rendition. What wholeheartedly, assiduously, for this very notable struggle, without blemish, giving their all resources, energy, time, and otherwise. What is their mission? That is the question that we as a people, home and abroad, wherever you are across the world, must begin to ask. This very careful project. We are not talking about IPOB because he is never a member of the IPOB. For the Biafra struggle, what is his mission? Blackmail the wife? The only thing left now is to blackmail the children of Onyan Dumazin and the Kano as well. Blackmail the wife, blackmail the leadership, blackmail everybody. Now they are blackmailing the legal team. The legal team. The legal team that goes man to man, face to face, to see the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. What is that, Ejofa? What is the ambition? Now, if they take Barista Ejofa away, they take Barista Ejofa away, uh, now you know what is it. Because they are trying to take away the DOS. <laughs> that is why we told them, and we continue to assure our people, we did not choose ourselves. Heaven said we should come. Heaven ordered that we must come. And by the divine provision of heaven, we obeyed and adhered to that very call. Irrespective of the obstacles. Irrespective of the obstacles. A 
came in. A kind of carrying this very noble struggle. That is why we will continue to assure our people. The rest assure that this very DOS is very leadership. Money can never, we never buy us away from this very IPOB. Money will never buy us away and can never buy us away from standing behind and for our leader, Onye Dumas and the camp. No amount of money. It is impossible. Because we did not come like the ordinary flesh. We came out of divine calling. Out of the divine calling. It is greater than us. But who are we to say no to the voice of our ancestors? To the demand of our fallen heroes? To those more than one million different children? But they cry to heaven that the generation will appear as stand shoulder to shoulder with the Yendumazin and the Khan. It is a heavy burden. The burdens are too heavy. The pains are too heavy. But we must carry it. Not for the living, but for those fallen heroes and heroines who have gone and have given their all for this very noble struggle. That is why we are standing. That is why the lives of Barista Defiant Joshua is still standing. The pains are heavy, if not them, the Lego team. It isn't a, an easy task. But to the uncircumcised individuals, those children of perdition, the sons and daughters of Lucifer, those who have come to make money out of this very struggle, look at them criticizing and blackmailing even we, the children of light. Look at them. Those rumors out there too is to raise fundraising every day on the, on the social media. If you watch them, you must pay money. I say even to watch them, you must pay money. We have that been done in the history of the Africa. And yet, you cannot ask yourself a question. You cannot open your inner eyes. You are black melon teaching us a chicken dozen. The DOS black melon mass and match those who have given the blood for this very struggle. And you think you are normal, and you think heaven will forgive you, and you think the spirit of our ancestors will forgive you. And you think that the, 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 the fallen heroes and heroes will forgive you? Not even the living will forgive you. Mazi Jonathan, you ask a very critical question. Malami, I am not a legal expert, but there is something they used to say. You cannot build something on nothing. Is there? The truth is very open and cannot be destroyed by any type of propaganda. At least, thank God that the Nigerian judiciary can still can still stand up for truth. Most of them they understand. The judges they understand. That is why before every court upon court upon court upon court, the federal the appeal, they have stood firm on the rule of law. And in democracy, saying that this man is innocent on all the charges leveled against him. 
let's give it to them. At least they have shown, even in the face of tyranny and bullying by the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, who tried to bully them, even to this very day. You cannot build something on nothing. How can you build lies on truth? A man fighting for self-determination? Only for you to now raise all matters of allegation, including the answers. That is what Malami is leveling against our leader. The answers that the Nigerian masses came out for. They said he's our leader. The same way they are going about now, arresting the criminals that are associated with the infiltrators. And saying they are ESM. And saying that they are they are the, the men working for IPO. That's what they are doing. It is just like uh, just like, like uh, the way you saw the Odudu's agitators. They fought the Nigerian army. Now you now say, oh, those who, who fought the Nigerian army and took away their arms, that they are now fighting for Igbo. That is Igbo that sent them. It is just the same thing. Why Igbo is on his own? Talking about the right of the Oduju was to have their own independence. That is democratic. It is called self determination. Those who choose criminalities cannot be associated on whatever Igbo is fighting for. Now, what is our job? And why have IPO stood firm on the ESL? Our mothers must be protected who go to farm. Our fathers who go to farm must be protected. We make bold to proclaim that the ESN are right there in our forests, in our bushes, fighting the chivalrous men in order to give protection to our daughters, our sisters, our wives, our brothers and sisters. We make bold in public without hiding To say, those defending our forests, they have our backing more than 100%. But we must not forget whatever Malami is plotting, we make it clear to the international community, to the world at large. To the human rights community, it is Malami who is trying to truncate democracy in Nigeria. It is Malami who is trying, by all means, to adhere to the voice of the Fulani oligarchy, who on the 14th of October. After the ruling of the appeal court on the immediate and unconditional release of our leader Mazen and the Kano, the Fulani oligarchy who are called the Mayati Allah, they came out on the 14th and said that Mazen and the Kano will never be released. Now the question is is Malame adhering to the call of Fulani Hesmer? The Mayati Allah, or is he adhering to the rule of law of the Nigerian contraction? It is a question that the international community must have to ask the lies of the Attorney General of the Federation, Abu Bakr Malame, and the President of the Nigeria State, Muhammad Buhari. Are we asking for too much? If this very pertinent question is thrown to these very men, democracy or autocracy, it is a choice. What is it that the Nigerian state is practicing? 
democracy or autocracy. Democracy or tyranny. Which one is the Nigerian state? That is it. We have the lies of President Adolu Shakuma Basanjo is listening and telling the international community now that it is not yet too late for reconciliation. He goes to Ethiopia, making peace. Why the peace in his own backyard is yet to be resolved. We are yet, we are yet to do anything stupid. We are yet following the democratic process. Why the Nigerian state are the ones, or is the one disobeying the rule of law and the democratic norms and principles. It is over a month that the court of our people pronounced a judgment giving an order to the Nigerian state on the immediate and unconditional release of Mazen and the Kano. Over a month, the Nigerian state is here to adhere to the rule of law. Is adhered yet to adhere to democratic principles. Malame still bullying the judges. Yes, democracy states that there are three arms of governments, the judiciary being one of them. And being independent. Malame, being part of the executive arm of government, is pulling the judiciary arm of government. Because Malame wants to appeal to the demand of the fourth most deadliest terrorist group in the world. The Mayati Allah. Because on the 14th of October, Mayati Allah said that they offer their dead body. Would the Nigerian state release Onyedu Mazen the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra? This is an act of chaos. The Nigerian states are daring, obeying to the voice of the most fourth, most deadliest terrorist group in the world. It is anti democratic process and it is an act to push the Biafra people to the wall, and there will be consequences. If the Nigerian state do not reverse and obey the court of law, which is the pronouncement of the appeal court of the Nigerian states. IPOB have no control over the appeal court. The appeal court made the pronouncement based on merits. Why is the Nigerian state disobeying their own courts? It is a question, a pertinent one indeed, that the international community, the global leaders, that the likes of Abbas and John should be going around telling every president one after the other that Buhari must obey court order. Masi Jonathan. I give back to you. Ndewo. Ndewo Mazi. Um, uh, in conjunction with what you said, what you people said, you know, I want to put also a little bit clarity 
in a primary way so that people will continue understanding you know the tape i played which you uh, demanded me to play you know it keeps me thinking you know now i say all these uh, people like uh, lower niger higher niger people that we are highly conspicuous before when our leader was outside they were clamoring for lower niger some were you know all of them all of them has remained they all went on the ground as soon as our leader was renditioned it's another plan now because Mazi, you know, Mazi, you they, know why? Yes, because they Mazi, have you know a front. Why? Those people have been defeated. Yes, exactly. And they have been defeated. So, exactly. so they, they told him, don't go for a second round. They yes. bring the new ones. Exactly. Thank you. Go ahead. <laughs> so, you know, they see in this thing, uh, that thing, the infiltrator, they see, they saw in him a new front. So from the background, they call and say, okay, now look at, you know, this, this, this. They are now fronting him. The voice of Biafra, which was used against Mazen Amdekano, set up in 2012, as you mentioned, which was defeated. Now they have to revive it under him so that he become the front now. You know, all these things, uh, the, the, he's doing it because he's naive. And Mazi, Mazi, you know, like uh, the other day, I used to, I said, somebody that wants to be a leader heading in charge of IPOB. But uh, 2019, if I'm not mistaken, either 2019 or even 2020, this person was virulently against Biafra agitations. On video, talk calling Biafra agitators. Yes, two twenty. Two twenty, right? Two twenty. Okay, he was calling IPOB miscreants. He was supporting the Nigerian politicians, direct on video, calling IPOB names that we are people that needs to be flushed out. All of a sudden, within few days or months, he now become he want to, not that he wants to be a, he want to change and become an ordinary member. No, he wants to be in charge of those movements that he was violently against. Now the que I used to ask Ndibo, say, ma, ma, are you ma, 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 let me come in. Yeah, go on. Ma, let me come in here. Uh, let me tell you something. Do you know? That before he started broadcasting, after he had attacked us, he showed himself to the politicians in Germany that he's ready. He told them, who are these people? They are nobody. Do you know it is an IPOD member? He begged for the Biafra flag. That Biafra flag you see in his mountain is his house. It is an IPOD member. He went and begged, say, please, he want to talk some things. You're the, on the radio for Biafra. It is an IPOD member went and gave him that flag that he used and come on the radio the first time he started coming. And I'm sure that might be the flag thing today. Go ahead, Matt. Yeah. So what I'm saying in effect is that when you look at like Mazen Amdekano, he had an, an, an antecedent. He, you know, he didn't start uh, yesterday to become the leader of uh, IPOB. No. He started even right from Masob. So, what am I saying? Somebody that should be in the position he's, he wants to claim to be should have antecedents. Previous state is just like a, you know, a street footballer, you, for example, you see all these footballers that are being signed of five million dollars in Europe, ten million from Africa. Okay, they sign them because they have antecedents. You cannot just see somebody that uh, you know that has no history of football. Now they sign you in a very big club. It is it is impossible. 
it no matter how you no matter how you think you play no you must start from somewhere our leader started not even myself he you know freedom fighting fighting injustice is in his blood he started it he showed it when he even fight fought he was on demonstration against uh, this uh, terrorist group you know it's on video so uh, the, uh, the book haram yes it's on video to show you that he is somebody that he has been fighting injustice for a, for a long time he has antecedent what we call antecedent record uh, but uh, this thing now just come all of a sudden he wants to be a leader of um, IPOB you know ripping where he did not so now what happened these other people they have to go underground they say ah we have seen somebody that we can use to against our old enemy imagine i'm the kind of radio biafra IPOB so all of them you know con congregated around him secretly and tell him now go on go on use even voice of biafra we used before as your channel and foolishly he used it do you know that if this man knew that the evil voice of biafra existed and you know uh before yes. and was cajoled yes. by mazina he wouldn't have gone there but he didn't yes. know he wouldn't yes yeah, yeah. You understand, he Martin? Martin. Yes. He didn't know because he was foolish. He, he was naive on anything concerning Biafra agitation. He is there only to you. He's on contract. He confirms that he is on contract to you. IPOB down. That is it. A scammer, somebody that has been scamming uh, people. Of which you have records of some some doing document in, his immigration, all, yeah, immigration, immigration doing document yeah. all of a sudden he become a chief of freedom fighting. Don't you see? That's why I say indeed boy are your here, you know, some people that are following whether which are your posi Nigeria remove our mindset or our brain. Sometimes I don't know. So, but we must continue. So, this is the summary of what I also want to put there. Now, Mars, in this case, um, we see or we are seeing what the Nigerian government is doing. They are burning our houses in Biafra land. They are waging complete war warfare. You know, sometimes people will understand what, what is happening why are they saying they come they raise down burn down houses in Biafra land with impunity you know so people continue asking questions what is happening why are these people not confronted they do all these things uh, like I say with impunity that is the thought of many of us so I don't know what you have about it uh how and how Biafrans could rise up against this mil military invasion in our land you know we are entering we are in a, the end of the year we are Biafrans will be going home will be going home traveling home you know so how is this thing going to be confronted what is the the, the 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 i mean the carefulness the precautions and the confrontations against all these issues that is happening because we are not safe honestly burning houses we are not safe mazi go on please yeah mazi chinedu thank you thank you very very much you see this question you ask now that is why every time i come on radio I ask our people, let us focus, be ready to learn. Nobody knows it all. You might be a professor, you might be anything, but they said experience is the best teacher. Mazi, you can be even an army general. You can be anything, you know, but one thing is that when you face a situation, you can only survive it with your instinct especially a confrontation that will take your life or not taking your life now one thing our people don't understand is like you said everything goes stage by stage do you know before full-scale war will break out in our place there are types of war 
that we continue to happen within a particular people or in a country before you see it escalate you know and you see bombs everywhere coming Manzi, for very long time our people don't understand there is what they call the fault line wars the fault line wars we sometimes we watch on program some i think i used to have that program they say a fault line fault line fault line wars i will people don't understand it is a type of war we have been engaging for very long time from the time the creation of nigeria from the time the civil war the independence of nigeria till presently that fault line was is there it is a particular war we are fighting and for many who don't understand what fault line wars mean it means a clash between civilization from one you know physically it's a clash physically between a civilization and another you know another nation it's always happened within a country a region for example during the former yugoslavia Mazi, you know the Serbia. you know now we have the Serbia as a country there was a fault line war between the salvic civilization with the muslim civilization during this time of religion fight or ethnic issues you see a kind of war going on religion they can kill because of this any excuses people can massacre the same thing happened in lebanon during that time also you found the western christians and the muslims fighting also in lebanon these things are fought line wars which is happening in nigeria on a day-to-day -day basis and it's a very complex war unless those people go their separate ways the same problem happened in rwanda it, you know when the colonial people came draw their different maps groups and they form all their pseudo nations all these things will continue to happen when you bring people like in nigeria where they bring the evils they send some to send some to uh, uh, Benue, they take these people they put in Cameroon, they take this uh, Yoruba, they put some in, in, in Benin Republic this destroyed, you come in, they take some, it's just that we we are not people that you know, engage in tribal wars, if not you will find our people in Iwacha fighting, like uh, you can see the people, all these uh, Egbema people that they put, you can see them fighting it is it is intentionally carried out and it is always carried out either by religion political uh, political motive this is how they withdraw this for example you go to turkey you see some kurds in turkey some in iraq some in iran you see how they scattered them put them here where they will never ever be comfortable they will never be recognized as a people they will never be accepted as people of a distinct nation when when they want to use the ones in iraq to cause problem in iraq they remind them of their marginalization how iraq uh, iraqis are treating them those people will go into war that is why if you go to erbil in the northern part of iraq in erbil you see that place is controlled by kurds they feel they are different from iraq and they have been looking for their own independence you go to turkey the kpp they are fighting from one angle is the kurds they want a kurdistan nation but they will never allow them until the people rise up when you understand this difference for example you see our people in benue you see Igbo people i am very very sure it was maybe one of their elder or politician that time say take easy is happy to send them to benua in benua it will be good for us they used him they take some local governments from a bony state send them and their brothers are in this area you send them to benua in benua they become minority they will be suffering they will do they will use them anytime they feel oh a benua a tv is not using if these people are more armed they use them and start fighting these are fault line wars intentionally created these are the kind of Mazi, are you see they are gone please they Oh, 
Yes, yes. Go Master, on. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Go on. Okay. okay. Mm. You, yeah. So you see, you see somebody in in Ibocha, He's saying, "I am, I am from uh, Rivers. I am from Rivers." If if really we are people that love, you know, crisis, war, people in Imo State can be used. And they said, okay, since you are rivers, this is our land. They will go to war against them. Pursue them out of that land and send them to the land of rivers. These things that they have created, which is fault line wars, is very, very complicated. And our people are not ready to understand what is happening within their vicinity, within their environment. Now, but the one our people need to understand most is the proxy war. The proxy war, most times people don't understand. You don't call people sometimes, they may not be classified as saboteurs because some of them may not know the end of what they are doing, but they know they are working for somebody. They are working, they are, be, they are carrying out some assignment which a, le a larger group of people are interested. They are the one benefiting from that particular thing they are doing. For example, when they created a bubago after ESM was launched, people may think some people will support Dave Omai. Oh, Dave Omai was creating a bubago to the, for security for this thing. No, Dave Omai was even some of them that joined the bubago. To them, they want to go and fight insecurity. They want to fight IPOD. They want to fight anything. They told them. But along the line, what Dave Omahi, what he have in his mind, he set up a bubago. He will start using them like what he's using, doing now. He now people didn't know he formed it for his political ambition. For his he's using it now, a bubago, adopting political opponents. He can use it to intimidate because he can't use the police force. He can't use the army to do that. So he can only tell them, oh, we want to help you to form, and then he have handed gone over to them. Now, a bubago, now ignorantly and knowingly engage in a proxy war. They can go to fight IPOB, they can fight ESN, they can fight political opponents. All these people, they will fight. Who is benefiting? Their benefit is only 30,000 Naira salary. But Dave Omahi is benefiting in a more broader picture. He's the one benefiting from all these things. This is why our people have to understand what is proxy war. The same proxy war is what we are facing indirectly. They use the criminals. They use all these groups. That is why also Dave Omahi what he's expecting he's not getting enough of it that's why you see them the last time they call meeting he want to form a another security outfit to patrol the highway because the one he has formed is not giving so they want to create people they will use these ones will fight any opposition who is attacking them these ones will go and fight nam the cano these ones will go and do this they will engage in proxy war and whenever there is proxy war it is very, very difficult for people to focus, especially those who are fighting like our situation that we are fighting for freedom. But one thing I want to say, it is not only locally, in proxy war, many countries, international countries, they play a very big role in them. Don't think it is only the Vomahio or these people that created criminals to fight IPOD. That is not. It doesn't end there. Because let me make take it to a more broader explanation. You know, under the to a more broader explanation. You know, under the place this proxy war in this way, they will come, they will tell you, oh, because now they can use counter-terrorism. Oh, there is counter-terrorism, there is this. They can even create terrorists in your country. Like you, they can do those things. And when they create it, then they, you see Nigerian government running to America government. Oh, we need help. We need help. We need to counter terrorism. We need to counter this. We need to counter that. Oh, okay. We have to come in to train you people. 
We have to come in. The moment they come in, they have stationed themselves. They will train you. They will cause problems. Under Africa, when America set up under, under the uh, uh, cover of counterterrorism, Africa was set up to beef off Nigerian military and ensure there is the purpose of Africa. Why America did those things, people may not understand, is to make sure there is free flow. Free flow of oil, our crude oil straight to the West. That is the major purpose because they want to push Russia and China out of the way. So they needed to create a war. As long as they have interest in our place, our people must understand when people... As long as they have interest in our place, our people must understand when people they will bring you will see even these people they set up in america they came the other day they say they are government in exile you see them now how many it was a mockery it was a mockery of our freedom it was a mockery of our freedom a struggle that millions of people have died that people say they are launching government in exile in one room one room a whole Biafra, a whole Biafra, people don't understand what those things mean. You call your friends and call your family members and stay in one room and launch Biafrans that when we go out to pro protest, Biafrans that when we go, the world is seeing our protest and you are launching Biafran government in one room, one stop. This is, this is, All these people, they know everything they are doing. They know. Don't ever think they don't know. All those things is to create problem. When they create problem within us, all kind of people will bring distraction. These are proxies. They are ready to, they, they will, we will exchange uh, opposition. We will talk. You understand me? Do everything we want to do to make sure, you know, let me tell you, you see the Americans, sometimes you see them. You see the Americans, sometimes you see them. The oil. They will be taking the oil. All these things they are moving in now is because they be afraid China may come, Russia may come, and that will disrupt. The, do you understand me? Any flow of oil to the West, the oil is very very important for them. Make no mistake about that. Now they see the region is becoming hot. What will they do? They will create these infiltrators everywhere. They will create them. They want them to engage us. They will equip them to fight us. That is why information is the key. When you see what they are doing, nobody ever tells you that this is not what we expect. This is not where we are going. When somebody is jumping from one place to another, about everywhere, everywhere, about that security, you move to media, you move to you just to come, you insult the leader's wife, you insult the legal team, you insult people are telling him move on, move on. When they call him on telephone and give him one information, he ran to the Facebook. He feel he have gotten something. He use it. You are here, every one of you have seen our brother Benjamin Madhu. Benjamin Madhu, everybody knew he was in prison with Mazen Nandekano, and their case is still going on. Sometimes, as our leader do send us messages, give instructions. Sometimes, himself that is also there, when messages come to him, like last time he went to the court, our leader sent him message. At least we know this person was close, stay with him in the prison until our leader came out very close our leader but when he came out he said our leader told me that criminality must not this is not we you see them they all come out 
They come for a war. Everybody focus. They will threaten you. They will say, we will do this. We will do that. Because they want to make sure they start a fight anywhere. If you tell them what you are doing is not good, this is what they have taught, taught, taught them. And these are proxy wars. They use people and do anything they want to do. They want to disrupt anything. They want to make sure whatever thing you are doing, they are ready to kill. You will see them, they are assassinating even IPOB members now. That is, I will come to that when I come to criminality. They are sending people to kill IPOB members. And I'm going to expose all of them today. And the many IPOB members who have been killed, some of them I will mention their names on air. Killed by who? Killed by these infiltrators. And when they kill them, they say that they don't know. We are on ground. We know everything. We know. And I will, I will say all those things today. So these are proxy war. And they want, if we allow Nigerian government, if we allow our people to drag us into a proxy war, that means it is an unending war. That is what they want. That is what the British government wants. And when you are fighting a proxy war, they will be taking their oil. You are busy because they know you have internal problems. That is what they are trying to create. Let me, let me also tell you people something. Everybody knows in the 90s, the U.S. Strategic Studies Institute, there was a report they said that Nigeria was created as an artificial state according to colonial um, interest, rather than ethnic coherence. There was never a time Nigeria was created for us to exist. So since they created Nigeria in this pattern, you must expect wars, proxy wars within. When somebody says something right, they say, look for him and kill. And when you kill somebody from this family, the anger will grow. It can lead to many things. Those who cannot kill will go and join court. Those who cannot join court will go and they, they will go and call you in one hour or say, those who cannot, they run away. These are kind of things they are using to destabilize our region. Every one of us know the proxy war did not start, but when America started to play and the Western power started to play this proxy war, you know, um, let me say, Everybody knew when BP was in Nigeria, we all understand what the pressure we are mounting. You know, when the America saw, because most times we, we are talking about Britain, Britain, talking about Britain. No, the master for most of these things, proxy war, is the United States of America. We cannot run away from it. Because America understood that the British power was declining. The British Empire was declining. So America gradually started to pursue the same policy in Nigeria. America noticed that the British Empire was a kind of not powerful. So what they are doing is they are stepping in where the British we are not doing very well. They know their power, their influence is going down. What they do is they start to step in, to take over those places, the British. That is why you see Shell took over from British Petroleum. That is what happened. They took over. Why are they taking over? Because they want to maintain the same pattern, the British. For example, during the Civil War, people ask, America wanted to help. America, somebody tell you America helped us. No, forget about rubbish they are talking. America wanted to help. But at the time, they think about, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. They found that the British informed them about this. When they took over, Shell took over, they go back the same way Britain was operating. Most of our oil stolen from Biafra land goes to United States. You see all this, they carry their cases go up because they use it to keep, make our place, in, 
can never be stable because they fight. You see Niger Delta today. These people say they carry arms. These people, they fight this person. They give this person contract. This person revolt. They talk about, when you are talking about for peace to reign, hope also them man will take money and bring. You talk about let things be... They uh, uh, will go different way. They, these are proxy wars that they are fighting. They are not doing it only for their own interest. There is a bigger picture. Those who are benefiting for, uh, from our instability. But for a long time, they have never come so close inside us. Like now. They came closer. Because they took away Mazen Namdekano. Most of you have to understand if Mazen Namdekano in 250, when we defeated them, you know, anytime they are being defeated, they try to arrest him. When we defeated them in 215, there was heavy argument about being miscrant. And after they were defeated, they arrested Mazen Namdekano in 215. That time, it was the height of the anger. Then come this time, Mazen Namdekano again. Appear, ESM was launched. They get crazy also. They're moving into action to make sure also they step him down. Don't think some of these things, it is only the but No, there are bigger. That's why we have to look. Even people, especially people in America, when they are doing something, look them very well. I am telling you, look at them very well. Most of them, most of these our people, they work for the American military. Some of them are veterans. They are still watching them. They still give information. They can use them. They will use them to destabilize what we are doing. Don't trust them. Sometimes they won't talk, but they will take advantage. They can push them and advise them to continue. You think they are coming for good? They come in to instigate problem so that oil continue to flow flew to America. I could remember from what we read in 1978, when they realized the British was declining their strength, that was the first time the USA Navy Seas Fleet began his regular exercises in the Gulf of Guinea. People who know what I'm talking is there. In 1978, so don't think it was after the war. After the war in 1970. After eight years, they saw that war gave Britain a very bad name. It put Britain image for being behind the genocide in Biafra land. What Britain did was to step aside a little bit. Then the United States took over in 1978. That was the first Navy fleet that started a regular exercise on the Gulf of Guinea, started to patrol, started to patrol till death. Till date, till today, not till yesterday, till today, they are in Gulf of Guinea, stealing our oil, and as long as they are stealing this oil, they make sure there must be war, proxy wars will be inside us, they will make sure you can never come close, and that is where they are pushing these people towards. Let me give another example so that our people will understand, lest we move on very fast. What people don't understand, you see the answers that happen. I can bet you, British, the British, they infuse inside those mobile policemen, they infuse some security contractors. I can tell you because this was what they did during the Niger Delta uprising. During when King Saruwa was killed, they did the same thing. Most of you do not know that the United, United Kingdom, as of 2001 to 2014, they spent 12 million pounds to counter protest and counter many uprisings in the United Kingdom. I'm not telling you another people. They spent 12 million pounds and they, in, they, they exported more than 500 million pounds of arms and ammunition, grenade, rocket launcher, they supply to Nigerian government to quench the uprising in the Niger Delta region. Instead to talk about environmental destruction, all this environmental de um, uh, degradation, or what they call it, they were much interested to quench any uprising. And those, our brothers, 
were a man with money. During the uprising in the Niger Delta, there are reports, there are serious reports that the UK government, they contracted some special securities. Special securities. One is called control risk, the other one, air ring and Saladin security. They were drafted into Nigeria. They were joined the Nigerian police. They have black people now. They train them and send them. They send them in to mobilize, to put, make sure that all these things are brought down. This is what they did. This is one of the things they did in the Niger Delta region. They were killing them because the destruction of the flow of oil. America was involved. They know all those things. That's why they brought, have everybody forgot that some of them brought their own private securities. Saladin, a UK security company, was among the people contracted. A rings. Earrings was also among the security companies. Most of these companies were all drafted in. As we are doing this protest, as we are protesting, most of you don't know that Nigerian government have sent in spies. Sending spies. The protest all of you are having in Europe, they are there. They are there. They are coming. That only IPOB is so complicated for them to carry out actions, to carry out assassination attempts, because Chupoki Kadiama is completely protecting his children in this fight. That is why every one of us must be very, very alert. Don't go on social media. Of course, you can acquire knowledge. But what we are saying is that is why IPOB is structured from up till down. Now, you can get your information. You can try to, when you see information, try to verify. You have forums so that you don't go and do things that will jeopardize another officer's or another IPOB member's life. Because in proxy war, they can even use a son to kill a father on a different excuse. A son can come and kill the father with different excuses. It is not that he don't know what he's doing, but he has been brainwashed and he has been used to eliminate somebody. Like some of them don't know. Every one of you were here a couple of months back when I told Pastor Jack, everybody must listen. Every one of you knew when I came on Radio Diapra, I called the name of Pastor Jack as being used in America. People in America Bridget, Austin, Mewa, they used him. Pastor Jack cannot even do anything in the media. I don't know how he comes. Now they use him because he knows he's on ground. He starts to look. They have the telephone number of some people. This is how they have sent him. He starts to go to participate. Push today. Where is Pastor Jack? Most of you came here talking rubbish. Izombe, yes, Izombe is on fire. They are killing our people. But are you going deep to understand what is happening? It is the people that they have all gathered together. The criminals they have put together. They use them. When they catch them, they will point hand. He is there. They go there. Every one of you knew. Pastor Jack took them even to Lagos. IPOB, this is proxy war. Some people that will be arrested will never come back alive. Most of them, they are picking them. Why they are doing this thing is for you to get agitated. If you are not happy, if you can't control yourself, we go in, we start fighting. No, they are kids. We are prepared. We understand that a time like this will come. When we defeat them on proxy war, I'm telling you, Biafra is here. This is something every Biafra, that is why I come to Radio Biafra. Listen, educate yourself, because information is the key. When you enlighten yourself, nobody can play with you. When you are informed, nobody can play with you. They can use you in their proxy war. Remember, what they want, we start fighting. They want to set a problem even between we and the job, so that when we are fighting, they will support the job. Come and put down the oil. The end is taking oil away. Sometimes we are thinking it's always the Fulani. No, 
Not only the Fulani, Fulani have their own agenda, Islamization, taking Nigeria as their estate. Some Western countries are so much interested because of your natural resources. They say it is an abundance that they can never leave it. People don't understand that our gas, our liquefied gas, it, we are one of the major suppliers of this gas, gas to America. America depends on us so much. And I can tell you, they are ready to set up proxy. They, they will train people in America. It has happened many places. They will use them to destabilize. Some of them are fools. Forget about this thing. Somebody say, I'm a military officer. I'm a, you are military. You are corrupt in the army. You went there. You are a lance corporal. You, who are you trying to? Who, we are talking about problems happening in our place. Let me tell you people something where you people don't understand. Maybe by today, ESM wouldn't have existed. Because the moment Onyendu formed ESM, all the people in America want to send, that they will send people, give them, they have somebody, we will send somebody from Russia, we send somebody from uh, America, they come and train you. What are they coming to train? In our own forest. Because the same thing happened to us when France came in. They come and understand, decode everything we have. You think America love you so much. They don't talk about our human rights abuses. They don't talk about the killings. They don't talk about we don't have hospitals. We don't talk about our roads. But they are so much interested to send us somebody to come to train the ESN. My brothers and sisters, are you people thinking? We have born natural born soldiers. We have men of honor. We have warriors in Biafra land. We have men, people that can do wonders. So come and help us and develop our, our, our industrial sector. They will not come. Come and help us for electricity projects. They will not come. We don't have roads. We don't have good schools. They won't come. But the moment they hear ESM was formed, everybody bring offer um, from Russia is coming. Um, uh, oh, you bought them. They have somebody, Americans, who we train us to know, to teach them. You want to teach somebody going to war on the social media? You think we are fools? So just that they form ESM, everybody want to come and train ESM. Everybody. All the people in America, one came back from there, they, they, everybody now want to come and take. Ask yourself, for what purpose? And they had this been, we didn't maintain our stand. <laughs> you will hear, they know, they, because they will come, our people, maybe lack of technology, many things, they will video them, they will take this thing, they will go. And say that ah, we saw them, these are, they will classify you as, they will start their media propaganda and tell them these people are, they will do something that they will use. You people should thank Chupo Kikabiyama for IPO leadership. Because had it been they entered the catchment in Nandekano, they will mount a very big propaganda. That the ESN is nobody, they don't know anything. They will give the wrong impression to the public. Because they have sent people who came in and understand the tactics, the structure of ESN, how they operate, and they will tell them, forget about these people. And that is what is still happening in Imo states. As hopefuls are them, they put criminals together, they are telling them, we know them, we are gathered. That's why if they catch a criminal, they tell you it's ESN. Because they want to rubbish that name, ESN. They want to make sure they bring it down so that tomorrow, it's by the stage of they go to see Onyendu. They told him, get away from here. You cannot see him. We have sent him to Sokoto. And all of you will come here and insult the IPO leadership. I don't want to go far on this so that I will stop here, Mazi Chinedu. There we go. Yeah, Mazi. Mazi, please. Go on. Yes, Mazi. Thank you. You asked a very pertinent question. And um, across... We the ones in diaspora, there is one thing we used to, the intelligence uh, agencies used to tell us, you see something, you say something. Biafrans in at home, 
we know we are now at Mba month, Mba period. We must guide our communities jealously. You see something, you say something. You have our intels, meaning you have our numbers, where you can forward intelligence reports. Once you see some of these people, like the so-called Ibubago, the Nigerian report, once you see some of these people, like the so-called Ibubago, the Nigerian attentive, those of you that have to do, I mean, that are well to do, you can place intelligence cameras, put them across the community, get us the videos, if you don't have cameras from long distance, you can even and be secretive. Don't go and be shooting video or making video when you know that these criminals, these killers, I mean, the zoo militaries and their police forces, when you know that they are watching you, they are seeing you, be secretive, be on the high line. Get us this very intelligence. Make a video of them, of their massacre. Because one thing we are trying to establish in this very struggle is this. Even after Biafra restoration, all those involved the in massacring our people will be held to account. Not just within Biafra but before international community. Because we are very certain that we will push the Nigerian state to the Hague. We are its security forces and personnel will be brought to justice. So you see something, you say something. These are your own civil responsibility as a citizen of Biafra and in Biafra land. Get us this very intelligence. And so some of our fellow comrades, fellow citizens of Biafra, who are in the armed forces of the Zoological Republic, do not forget that your number one loyalty is to your own region. That is why you see the likes of Fulani Boko Haram military personnel. Their loyalty is to their own people, to the, to the, to the Fulani oligarchy and their terrorist organization. You have seen their military supplying, to, supplying ammunition to Boko Haram and bandits. This is because they understand even more than you that their number one loyalty is to their people and to their region. So if you are a Biafran, working, still working with the zoo, we want to assume that you are still working with the zoo forces because you want to be loyal to your people in times of intelligence gathering. And we are here, I mean we the Biafran people, the IPOB. The leadership is here. You have the numbers where you can supply this intelligence. Give us this so that even before the Nigerian forces execute their actions, their mayhem, their massacre, we already have those intelligence. As Master Jonathan asks, how do we counter them? We won't counter them with a kind of a, a, a physical combatant. No. That is falling into the trap because that is what they want. Because we understand that after the court injunction, the appeal court order on the immediate release of Onyendu Mazen and the Khan, and the Nigerian state to refuse. We, one of the intelligence we got was that they want insecurity to continue in Biafra region across the Biafra states. 
That is one of the reasons why they, they don't want anything that will favor our region. Because they believe to them if there is election across our region, that probably it will favor P2B. So anything that will make peace to occur within our region, they don't want it. So, so you, the one who is even across the zoo security force, you owe your region a very, very pertinent duty. Just like those who are of the northern region are paying homage to the Boko Haram. You have seen it. We don't need to preach too much about it. You, the one, the, the, the one in coastal land, the one in hinterland, the one, wherever you are within the Biafra region, you must supply us intelligence so that we can guide our land, so that we can expose the lives of hope also danger. David Omai, who are plotting to destabilize our land, you have seen it, you have heard it. That is why they don't want Onion Dumazan and the Kano to be released. Because they know that once he is released, just on a mere pronouncement of war, there will be peace in the entire Biafra land. And those who are those orchestrated this very insecurity will be exposed. Who are they? They lie some. Who's a danger? The Supreme Administrative Governor. Of Yumbo State and the woman of a boy state. It is at that very juncture the whole world will see what they are plotting with the Bubago. So, Maze, Jonathan, to your question, our people own it as a duty to supply this very noble leadership, intelligence. We will. Distribute those intelligence to the appropriate channel after properly vetting them. So our people must, at this very critical junction, be attentive, be sensitive to their surrounding, to their community, to their villages. Do not play with anything around you. You see the strange faces, be attentive, capture them while they are still plotting. Go even to their gathering, to their meeting, secretly record them and provide it to the leadership. Don't throw it anyhow. There is a WhatsApp where you can supply information. It comes directly to the DOS. That is not the leadership. Once we get these intels, we analyze them within us and we distribute them accordingly. We expose what needs to be exposed and we forward what needs to be forward to international community that need to have those intelligence. So these are your own responsibilities and what you must continue to do. Don't forget we are in Imba month, an Imba period. The enemies will come and they are coming to make sure, to ascertain that within this period of election season, which we cannot guarantee anybody, that we will approve to or not approve to if the Nigerian state continue to hold Onyendu Mazenam the Kano to ransom. But this is what we are doing to expose those whose duty is to continuously cause insecurity across Biafra land. But we cannot do these things alone. 
You, the citizenry, you must supply us intelligence. Those BF friends who are still working with the zoo security forces, even those who are in the political affair, supply this very leadership intelligence or what you think we should know. Give it to us and leave us to what we will do with it. Be rest assured, we will execute them more than 100 percent. And above all, gathering every intelligence with every sensitivity of it. I mean, protecting what needs to be protected without leaking information that ought not to be leaked out. So this is what we believe our people need to start paying attention to and start supplying the leadership. Very, very critical, especially at this very period. There will be Jonathan. Thank you. There will be um now uh just like as you said about proxy wars um, people many of our people don't fully understand these proxy wars you know when the enemy will not come direct they use brother against brother sometimes in their you know private quarrels they will go and support this one arm him in one way or the other that is proxy wars now uh yeah yeah they, they, you you unleash you unleash immediately you yes yes, yes. So that is a, okay. That is the proxy wars, you know. And people, should, you know, you know. For example, when I have something against you in our normal relation as a brother and the enemy, in as much as in as in order to fight us or in order for, to fight you, it can come and put more uh, uh, heat on our problem. Or my problem against you, and I would not know that I'm being used. That is the proxy wars, and our people should be careful. What makes Africa to fall is because they allow enemies, foreigners, Europeans to side one, use one part of Africa against their brother. That is the reality, and it is happening in this struggle but we are as you said we are seven steps ahead of ahead of them and you will not continue opening up so that many things <laughs> so um i want us to focus now on this criminality in beautiful land you know you have been coming up on a talking about criminality criminality which is being sponsored by some politicians nigeria dss and uh, other sponsor the infiltrators as we know so i want us to talk more about it about this criminality uh for now is it dwindling are people trying to understand or is it still on the highs please go on Marcy, please go on yeah, Mazi Jonathan, um, thank you so much. I think this is our last topic. Mazi, um, we heard the other day, is it two days ago or yesterday, when the barrister wrote something. You know, people thought that Onyendu is not having information. Are you understanding me? This is one thing our people don't understand. We don't need to tell Onyendu he have his own way to get information and when he asks about criminality what is happening we are surprised the barrister of course we cannot say these questions have not been thrown to us when mazel benjamin madbubu met him in abuja 
in one of the court cases, that was an issue he raised. At the same time, you, found, you saw him one time in a short video, a few seconds, it was the same thing that he said. Mazi, people are traveling from the East, coming Where communities will gather their people, send delegates to Abuja to go to meet the lawyer and ask him, you used to see Namde Kano, yes? Please ask him, is this the ESM he created? We have all run away from our villages. Our daughters have been kidnapped and raped. Houses burnt down. They want to understand, is this the type of Biafra that he say he's looking about? Is it the one giving this authorization? Mazi, it is our duty to defend our leader, defend the struggle, because we know our leader will never, those who knew him, or, or nobody will say he doesn't know Mazen Namdekano from day one. Mazen Namdekano said criminality will not be allowed into this. He said any day we started criminality, the struggle, let, we should say bye-bye to the Biafra struggle. Reasons, because that is what they will use. For example, we are talking about, like I, as I just said about this proxy war, where it, when Europe and America, they will be talking about, that is what they want to talk about. They want to talk about criminality. Criminality. Nobody will talk about your freedom again. Nobody will talk about your, your struggle. Nobody will talk about anything. Nobody will talk about Nandekano. What they will be talking about. There is kidnapping. There is criminality in that place. Mazin, what the criminality we are talking about is something if you call yourself an IPOD member. If you have not seen, you have heard what is happening in Imo State. But let me clear certain things, because as noble, you quiz you. Of course, eh, when they, who will like it, when the people who will not like it. Sometimes, not in every occasion. Do you know that some of this military that invades some of our villages, that's why we are telling villages, if any group of people come say yes, and we have a number, try to ask that a group of people have entered your community. Is this IPOB ESN? It's not that they come, they tell you take oath, do this thing. Mazi, we have the HOD inquiry line. We have the criminal investigation unit number. If you see a group of people enter into your community, tell you they are IPOB ESN. These numbers are there. Try to inquire. When you ask IPOB leadership or the ESN command, they will tell you yes or no, that they know or they don't know. It's very simple. We have made information, we have made these things to be easy for our people. You can't allow people to be in your community after they have committed all kinds of crime. Kill people, destroy your community. Then you come back and tell us they are IPOB. When we have, there is no community, no place you won't find IPOB people. Now, Mazi, the criminality we are talking about is something mind-blowing. It did not end only in criminality. It also ends in organ harvesting. It also ends in uh, um, um, cannibalism. A lot of dirty things, evil things that have happened among these criminals. And uh, whether Tao, AG, or One Meiji, we said no to criminality. But do you know that this criminality went to the point? that this cannibal, cannibalism they were practicing there, some of them, what, what we see, I saw some video, I was like, I cannot watch it. They use human, human flesh to cook soup. Cook soup. 
and you want us to accept this kind of nonsense and somebody will be coming and sometimes when they go and snatch cars snatch kk there are because they snatch always luxury cars when they snatch you know most of these cars have tracking the military or the joint force can track them with that car to get to their place where these cars are where they are selling the cars it was very rampant and after this program i will release some videos to back up my you will see people were coming inside or see it some cars when they have snatched it they remove all the parts they set it on fire and call people that are selling scrap to come and buy the scrap they have removed the doors the seat everything they will go to sell them as papers the one they couldn't find anybody then they burn the skeleton of the car you will see them they will call somebody to come and buy it as a scrap they say car burn you come and cut it and take it as a scrap i will release the video you will see people coming with okada in those of see to buy those things they turn a whole community into a criminal day and somebody somewhere want us to come out and defend this criminal mazi the other day a few days ago one of the boys was arrested he's from our woman man when i made that posting people came our people came be talking rubbish hey you people hand him over dss that is when i know our people are dummy who handed him over dss who touched him that particular guy this particular guy that they call one man squad the name is there Maze, this guy committed a lot of atrocity in our woman man and he was working with these infiltrators he even go to the extent he told the people in our woman man if what i'm saying is a lie people can come over here and he start to task them you know the infiltrators they like money to to collect money you know anything for the what guy then he also graduated yes, yes. The guy said that the IPOB have sent him three million. That if people in our mama should contribute money, he want to rebuild house for Igonso. He started to. If you refuse, a burn your car. If you come in, he was threatening everybody. He was stealing. It was, the day they caught him. The day they caught him, he was with family. It's when they have caused havoc. You know, they ran from Osihifopa to Izombe. When they attacked them in Izombe, he ran away. That is before they caught him. Because that particular guy, ESN, when ESN was intact in Olo, the criminality was so much that was a time ESN arrested him because he, he, was, he was doing evil, stealing, making kidnapping, building upstairs in his father's compound. That time, people, they know the guy was fully into criminality. And they, when they arrested him, they, they maltreated him and they asked him not to do that nonsense again. But he went on, graduated now, joined the infiltrators. And I will say something again on air. I'm not going to call name. If you are using the name of Ikonso, whether you are a brother to a consul, you know when Ayanaga in her job for the fact that a consul is one of our respected comrades, for the fact that a consul died in this struggle, we do not transfer membership of IPOB from father to son, or from son to sister or from the uh, Ikonso to his younger brother. We do not transfer IPOB membership in that way. If you are not an IPOB member, you join IPOB. You must not use the name of our comrade who have fallen for this struggle to ride on their back and commit crime. Whether you are a brother, blood brother to Ikonso, this message as I'm saying it this night, before they will twist it but i'm giving a very clear advice and instruction to the brothers of Ikonso. you are not an ipob member 
You have never been a volunteer, talk less of to be ESS. Do not, because Ikonso is dead, you now using the name of Ikonso to commit blunder, trying to dent the image of that comrade, that hero. We will not take it lightly with you if you want to dent the name of Ikonso. I have sent this message privately and I'm saying it on air. Ikonso was an IPOB member and an ESN commander. You yourself, if you want to be an IPOB member, join IPOB member, members. If you want to join ESN, come out and join ESN. Do not use the name of Ikonso because it is your brother and you commit crime because we don't transfer membership. And we don't transfer. I have never seen where a mathematician died. His son automatically said, now I'm a mathematician when you don't know anything. Do not destroy and dent the inner name of that our beloved commander, Ikonso. Now, Mazi, coming further, these criminals have relocated. Some of them have relocated. The main frontline criminals, they have relocated from Osi Hitukwa. Some of them have run to Okibwe. They are now in Okibwe. Small time now, we have already started getting reports that they are killing people. They went in Okibwe. They asked people in Okibwe if you have any court case in the court. You go and withdraw it. You bring it to them. This guy that died, this guy, they call one man's squad. This guy himself was cases, 200,000, 100,000. This is what he was doing in our war mama in many places. We, when we are saying this thing behind, we caution people. When IPOB used to, when we get this report, we will contact you. Mazi, you see all of them. The, this, the other one they call engineer, Mazi. When they caught him, he's in a possession of almost 21 million naira with foreign currencies. ESN have not received 21 million. ESN have not received 21 million. But you see those guys, the one they call engineer, this one's working with Bridget, was caught with 21 million dollars naira with other foreign currencies. You see that double lion when they kill, they were all of them are the same thing now. When they kill double lion, double lion, according to we reports, people who was around, they found almost fifty to sixty thousand dollars hard currency in his body. They carried their money along. These criminals. And do you know that when they kill double lion, they took away his hat. They took his private part and they took his head and gave the family the body headless, heartless, and the private partless, if that is the way to put it. This is the kind of evil this kind of people are in our if they do themselves like this, think what they can do. Another point, everybody know one of our IPOB members, they call Chinasa from all over. These criminals contacted somebody, we come across the communication when they told him that Chinasa is one of the people they don't want them, they are the one passing information to IPOB leadership what they are doing. Since he is the one because they know he's a very honest guy, in many cases he said this is not IPOB. They went a couple of weeks back, they went and they busted his house because they know him and they kill him, they set him on fire. He's an, a hardcore IPOB member. And they have worked with the volunteer. These criminals went and they killed him. I am saying something also on air because there is something they do. Everybody knows a Gole, the wife of a Gole, the one we just brought out, the one we just brought out of free set. One of his sons, when they came to arrest the father and the mother, the boy ran away, looking no place to hide because they killed the father, they took the father, the mother, their uncle, um, another uncle, three uncles, all of them taken away, they were many. The boy ran away and all that time found himself in that place. 
as you start to hear that oh these people are not ESN the boy want to escape as he ran away from where they are and hide in one building saying let day break he will run away from there come out they got the information they went there and killed that young boy they call him precious people know what i am saying this is the same way they are looking for IPOB members from where, from different places, killing. And people want us to keep silent and all in the name of Mazen Nandekano. Yesterday, or day before yesterday, I made a post about Nze Francis Onuchuku. Nze Francis Onuchuku is a former Biafran soldier. A veteran, 84 years old, in the Francis Onuchuku from Oro, in the Francis, this boy they call number one. I think the name is already out there. They call number one, which is a, a, a family member um, uh, of one of these criminals. They call this number one. They call him Onyekachi Paul Udeze. This, he was a former convict. He was, a, he was in the prison before he came out. They went, one of them, of his family member, go, went and contracted these boys that they want to take a land that doesn't belong to them. And this land belonged to Nze. And as a former soldier, when they summoned the man, the man said, this is my land. And community people, everybody said, this land belonged to this man. There is nothing you have to do here. This land doesn't belong to you. There is nothing this man didn't do. And people, the people became scared. When they talk, they said they were king. The boys are then the, as a former soldier. He's a fearless man. And he's an IPOB man. A man of 84 years. These are people from information we have. He worked directly with uh, our, our late general, people's general. This man told them, this land belongs to me. And this number one got offended. The second day, he invited Butuzo, temple. They come for the same issue. The man raised this issue also in front of Butuzo. That this land belongs to them. They told him it's a lie. It belongs to this Oburi because they were paid. After a couple of days, they came to that Oburiye compound and moved from there with a motorbike to the compound of Nze. Three of them, with the information we have everything, they shot Nze, close range, three bullets. And there are other things brought out. What they shot inside his body, that video, we have not made it open. People hear the sound of the gun, people start running before they understand Nze is dead. His body is still not buried. They killed him on 29th, on 29th of July, this, this year, around 7.45 p.m. in the evening. That was when they killed that man, number one, Ambutoza. This is the level of criminality they have caused in our society. Everywhere doing this thing, and that is why the government know what they are doing. That is why you saw Malami, talking about that they won't release Mazen and the Kano because he's a national security and it's a, it's a national security risk and also because of criminality, assassination and murder. Our people don't understand. You come out on the vision, what is the DOS doing? But they are telling you why they are old. You think they don't have, because they are trying to gather these things to use it to dent the image of IPO, dent the image of Mazen and the Kano. And I will tell all of you, you see that number we have put out there. There are those who we, the, 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 the leadership have not responded or those ESN command have not responded. Put in your mind, they don't answer that phone. Nobody will answer you on that phone. Send your report. Some reports already, the command, they know about it. Those they don't know, they, because they have to review them. Compare information, ask, confirm the dates before they come to you. So when you send in your report, because they knew 
that a lot of some of them now understand that very vital information is going there. They now take up the flyer and they start to make it cancel. Don't send this thing. What I'm saying now, as I am on this program, very vital information is going there. They now take up the flyer and they start to make it cancel. Don't send this thing. What I'm saying now, as I am on this program, make sure you post that ESN criminal investigation. Put it in all your timeline. The information coming there is mind blowing. And I will be one of those, when our leader comes out, I will ask him to set up a committee and look into this level of criminality against our people. Because from people, we need to heal their wound. Because people committed crimes in the name of Mazen and the Kano. People killed people in the name of Mazen, just to dent the image of IPOB. While Mazen and the Kano never asked anybody. And that is what the lawyer, who is going on a day-to-day -day basis, for me and other members of the DOS, we know what our leader can do, we know what he cannot do. But the lawyers are meeting him on a day-to-day -day basis, from time to time. And they sent a message through the lawyer, somebody, the lawyer came out to write, and people, I want to tell every one of you, you see those people that come on social media, when you talk about the criminality, they attack you. They are some of those criminals because many of them have telephone. They are communicating. They are girlfriend, they are distant. When you mention their name, they are angry. They said, oh, they call your name. They come there and they attack you. These are the people. Check their Facebook profile. Nothing is there. They have nothing, but they want to advise you to post to Biafra something. They will tell you, leave those people and talk about a different thing. In IPOB. Onyendu told us that they never go to Leyala. We must continue to expose this criminality. We must continue to expose all these crimes they are committing against our people. They won't talk. They want to, today, Fulanese are everywhere. They want to bring them to cause that proxy war, that fault line war. Fulani will be fighting you on the fact that. Uh, 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 the, the, it's a land, the Nigeria is their land, the Biafra land belongs to the Fulani. The Islamists will be fighting you that they want to Islamize you. Then your brothers inside is using criminality to dent the image of IPO and dent the image of Mazen and the Kano so that many people can back away. Say, no, IPO, like some of you will say, uh, I left myself because uh, uh, it turned out to kidnapping and all these things. Do you understand that? They use, because they thought they could destroy myself with kidnapping. They say play the same card in IPOB. But we are telling them in IPOB there is no room for that. In IPOB there is nobody who will use criminality to dent our name. We have professors, doctors scattered all over the world presence in over 100 and something country. We are, people know us, every one of us, wherever we are living, people know who we are. We are not hidden people. We are not into criminality. And as long as we are on top of this leadership, nobody will use IPOB, nobody will use ESN, nobody will use this hallowed movement, use it to commit crime and he won't pay. You will pay, even if you don't pay now, it takes you longer time, we will make sure you pay. And what we are saying, we continue to say, if you are working, somebody tell you he is temple, he is working for IPOB, Butuzo. he is not part of IPOB, not part of ESN, these are the criminal gang, I have called their names before, and many of them will continue to mention their name. They are not, but ESN, is intact in Imo State. We all ask every one of them to withdraw so that the world can see what is happening, the criminals happening there. For now, we are not setting up. Some people will say, bring ESN now in our load. No, we are not bringing ESN because every officer of ESN, all the officers of ESN have been withdrawn from our load. Ask to remain silent until you are called back to service. Let the world see the criminals, what they are doing with our load. Maza, we stop here so that we can give people a chance also for them to contribute. Thank you so much. Of course, of course. I don't know Maza, Nachi. You want to say something, please, before uh, I open Jonathan, the line. The only thing I want to tell to be a friend is this. Um, for those criminals, 
Uh, the, open the, the only one to tell to be upfront is this. Um, for those criminals, we, because one thing they must understand is this. The Afro struggle is too spiritual than even the physical. We call on Chukotike within the leadership to expose all these criminals whom not only some recruit themselves as a gang and some working in tandem with the Nigerian state in order to make our land, our region insecure and also to blackmail Onion Dumas and Nandekan. The land of Biafra will definitely flush them out. Rise from the establishment of IPOBESN. We have never engaged in anywhere, you can't see it, from the beginning. Where you will see anyone fighting, say they are part of IPOB, are involved in kidnapping. Mazi will get some of these intels. It is so astonishing. Where somebody who is telling you that he's fighting for Biafra is calling someone, demanding for that person to, you know, to pay money into the account or bring them money as part of supporting the struggle. And then you begin to ask yourself, even on this very hallowed platform, Onyen Dumazen Namdekano gave us an order. No such of a thing must happen across the land of the Africa. So these people, who are doing this atrocity, committing this evil? Who are they really working for? And then you go back to their to their master. Who oh, in pretense is saving the dollar and telling them, oh, we are fighting for Biafra for using these criminals to blackmail IPOB in return. To blackmail this movement. Somebody was calling a man one day. Uh, how much do you have to give us? The man said, uh, uh, I am, he said, I know what is in your account, in your account. If you don't give us this money, we are coming for you. Which Biafra are you fighting for? And these are the type of people that the land of Biafra will swallow. We have prayed to Elohim. We have asked him to do his wonder. And thank God he's doing it. The ESM, under the command of Onyen Dumas and Namdekano, have no part in criminality. Not at all. We don't kill one another. We don't kidnap one another. Who have not have nothing against the struggle. You see your brother riding on a car, or because you feel he has money, you go right away to kidnap him. If you want to do criminality, do your criminality. Do, you don't need to associate it with Biafra. So that by the time the zoological security forces get hold of you, you tell them you are involved in criminality. Nobody will condemn you on this platform. You are your own. But why associate yourself with the Biafra struggle? And above all, why associate yourself with ESM? So, these are the people 
sometimes we ask if you actually claim that you love onion dumas and amdekano why then are you implicating onion dumas and amdekano why are you taking instruction out of the chain of command of the same onion dumas and amdekano whom you claim to love or the same Biafra whom you claim to love or fighting for and they will tell you Onyen, somebody told us that Onyen do said we should do this. Who is the person? How did the person get on Onyen do Mazen Amdekan? Upon which structure within the leadership is this person working for? Whom you claim told you so. But do not forget the struggle you see today is the struggle where millions of lives have gone for. And those millions of lives are still even awakened to this very day. They cannot watch you destroy this very noble struggle. Rather, your own blood will go in for it. Therefore, you cannot. Not so. Can jeopardize the struggle of the restoration of Biafra, not even with IPOB. You want to serve motherland, you know the modus operandi of IPOB. You want to defend motherland, then you must defend motherland, not being conscious of the material things. You defend motherland because it is a duty for done and you cannot associate yourself with criminality by claiming to defend motherland. Light and darkness can never come together. It is impossible. It is impossible. You want to defend light? then stay away from criminality. Stay away from kidnapping your own brothers and sisters and demanding for ransom. Whoever is telling you to associate yourself in this type of evil, that person is, is the real enemy of Biafra. And the real enemy of Mazen and the Kano. And the real enemy of Mazen and the Kano. So that when we come back, we open the lines and take some few calls, please. Don't go away, please. We'll be right back. Then I woke, but is in here. So, what could he care? I woke a mother, marching for a guy in a carrier balado, a leader. I'm going all over home. The church may be in a little walking by. I'm all on the church. There's a woo. The church is me, 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 I'm going to be 
Welcome back. This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through the auspices of Radio Biafra London. Do not forget that today is the 13th day of November 2022, being Sunday. My name is Men Smiles, Jonathan Chinedu, and we are here live and direct. We are on an interactive session with Mars Ichina and Mars Uchichuku Nachi. Our lines are now open. Please, for your information, we prefer people that we call to ask questions, please. And when you call, 
let us limit preambles, praises, thanking, please, and go straight to the point. Mostly, let us allow maybe people that have questions, please. Because we learn from the questions also. Many other people learn from the question. So, but when you call and start praises and thanking, you know, thanking is good, but not now. Save it. We need to achieve our goal before the thanking. Otherwise, there is no need. So, let us ask questions or live for people mostly that want to ask any question. Our direct line is plus one two one three three two eight six two two four. I repeat, plus one two one three three two eight six two two four. Our WhatsApp and signal line is plus six one four zero five one four two five four seven. I repeat, plus six one four zero five one four two five four seven. You can call us and ask question please straight to the point straight to the point caller on what's up welcome to the program can you hear me caller on what's up can you hear me caller on what's up are you there can you hear me go on please yes go on please hold on what is Mazi, wait. Go on, Mazi. Call on what's up. Go on, please. Okay. okay. Uh, I just have there are two, two or there are three questions. But let me start by uh, greeting the members of the Director of State. I'm Mazi Chukuriya from South Africa. Um, uh, Mazi China is a woru. They wo Mazi my own brother. They wo because over uh, there is a question that um, uh, our presenter here asked. Um, Mazi China has answered to a certain level the same thing with Mazi and Naji, but I want to ask it maybe in a different way about insecurity. This is a period of Christmas. Our people are traveling from all walks of life to Biafra land and then uh, how much sec how much secured are they is it um, a red line for people to travel at this point uh especially if you're a member of IPO, you're a principal officer that's number one yeah the number two is um uh when this program started uh, Mahazi Chinas uh, tried a lot to speak on the need of um, what is happening to Nindu uh, how the government of Nigeria is coming from low to high and the high to low you know from the smaller court to to the higher court appeal court from appeal court back to uh, again to the lower court now and then he met he related about how we can <laughs> my brother i just i'm just with heavy heart i just want to ask this question um knowing fully well because what he said is like we we know exactly what to do we know where to press the button uh so that they can understand that uh, they don't need to keep our leader because what we see is that Nigerian government is not ready to listen to their court. They are not ready to obey the court. Even though, even if our politicians do not go to meet them, even if they have met them with the Fulanis and the oligarchy that doesn't want, and there's a lot of fear among them. Maybe, you know, I might have your, your game, you know, they don't know exactly what's going to happen. And then we are sometimes afraid of um, this international community, laboring and non-laboring. 
And then you mention about if only to have something happen to him, they are not giving medical attention. It's not the right time for we to press those buttons, for we to do something because they are not ready. If everyone have seen it, and uh, Mazi Ozekomo said something on uh, his uh, outing in America. If they don't release him, Mazi Nam, they can be afraid of Nigerian uh, disintegration. I believe that uh, just asking that question, are we not supposed to to react? You know, I know you you know what to do. But we, uh, our heart is full of uh, heavy, of uh, where Onion do uh, find himself, where he is. So we don't stop, keep on saying we are, we are, we don't want to be called this and that and that label this and they keep on keeping Onion do because of oil and the rest of all these things. And we keep on going back and forth with this thing. We just, you know, I don't know. Because they want to thank you, thank you so much. They war, they war, Marzi. Thank you, Marzi. Can you hear me? Marzi, China, sir. Marzi, are you there? Yes, 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 I can hear him. Yes, I can hear him. Um, um, Marzi, I want to answer that our brother the question. Number one, he said, um, security, my brother, for many years. Since we started this struggle, every December, they are putting... I cannot tell you, don't go home. If you're a frontline coordinator, you know... Um, I will advise, even if you are going, you have to be very careful. To let some people know that you're around, you're understanding me. We cannot say, don't go home, don't go home. If you are not on the front line, that maybe we will say, ah, if you go through the airport, immediately they catch you or anywhere. You just have to be very careful. We must always encourage our people to go home. I got have a food there. We are not going to all run away. Don't come home, don't come home. If we say don't come home, we are not helping issues. Those who can be able to go home, if you know your ways, you can go home and also see things by yourself. Because I know sometimes some people will go, they come back, they say, ah, so all this thing they are talking on radio, this is real. That means there is no hope for this country. You come back, it gives you, post your morale to continue to fight. Mazi, um, uh, there is something I don't want to say. Yes, I say there are places, there are things we can praise the button, everything we scatter. Yes. But as we are planning it also, we take, sometimes we do inform our leader also. He say, wait. But there is a time we also, because we don't want what happened in there. We don't want what happened during the, the sit at home order to repeat itself. We don't want. We don't want an order we will give now. The enemies will, and we feel it may be too early. We don't want to do it based on what, because of these enemies, infiltrators. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. This thing we are doing, if we don't handle it very well, because that is what the government wants us to do. When we just mention, you will see they will use anybody. You saw what happened in this city at home. You saw it. You saw it that just to announce something for the benefit of Mazin Namdekano, because he was not saying, you saw it. You saw his brothers came out, issued their own press release. We, we, you saw, this is what they are waiting for. They came to counter all the effort and the, that pronouncement. What people don't understand, they were fighting a wrong fight. That pronouncement, that the same day I made that pronouncement, one thing people don't know is this. I didn't make that pronouncement by my own power. But somehow I was asked to always go on radio to speak to our people. And that was the time I was given that instruction. And the moment I pour out that word, it becomes like waking the... Even when we want to call it off, the members of the DOS were saying we cannot call this thing off. But it's because of the pressure. 
putting pressure on Onyendi. And at the end of the day, the city has not heading to why here. People capitalize on it. You know, we are the pace setters. We set something, people stay on our back, want to take glory. This thing I'm telling you, we can do it today. We can do it tomorrow. But timing is very, very important in anything. For you, you want us to do it now. But the timing is not yet. We must. We don't want to make any mistake. And let me tell you, we don't, you know, Mazin actually says something here. We don't give a damn about their election. We don't give a damn about, none of them can stop us to do what we want to do. IPO, the IMAC, is a Janagari. We know. We will put, when the time reach, we say this is the time. We will do it. When we hear them and hear me. Now, the politicians, they are all running around. We, you know, when I look at them, they're running around. The party say, well, party, I say, they talk this side. We look at them, we laugh. Because they are, they, the time we will press it. Bahai, I say, oh, we have to remain here, For now, timing is very, very important, my brother. Ndewo. Ndewo, Mazi. I'll go to the Mazi, Mazi, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, okay, go on, go on, go Let me just go to what um, Mazi, Mazi Chukude asked. Mazi, um, the reference, whoever that wishes to travel, um, we have said it times without number. Just like Mazi Chinasa said, you can travel. But when you are traveling, the land where there is insecurity, there are things you must be conscious of and be sensitive about. Your social life, you must have to curtail. Very, very pertinent. Be sensitive of your environment. Very important. So these are the things you have to take note of. It doesn't mean that we are raising the consciousness of our people on insecurity don't mean you don't have to go home if you wishes to go home but be attentive be very very sensitive to your social activities people on insecurity don't mean you don't have to go home if you wishes to go home but be attentive be very very sensitive to your social activities. There is insecurity. At least you can tell night activities. Observe to do your things within the day. And even while you are doing things within the day, be attentive of your surrounding, be sensitive to your surrounding, even while you drive. When you are in a particular surrounding, at least make sure you have one or two within you. And at least be observant when you see one or two. And at least be observant when you see one or two. One or two activities either through your phone and etc very very important my brother your second question Mazi Chinas have answered you and uh, I will repeat the word of our HOD there is no point repeating what a man will do what a man will do is in his heart and it is well it is better be displayed in action than in words but we know the Nigerian state, they know us. And they know, they more than understand what we are capable of doing. But it is important, we we'll as well make it clear before the world. For them to see the extent at which we are being pushed to the world. So that when we do what we have to do, for the sake of necessity, no man, no woman will blame us. So it is best to keep on notifying the world and to keep on reminding the world of the tyrannical nature of the Nigerian state, its attorney general of the federation and its own president. 
So these yeah, are the things. It is important the world know that the Nigeria state is disobeying its own cause. It is important you raise enough alarm so that nobody will blame you when you do the needful for your people, for your leader, and for your nation. Dewo. Pastor Jonathan, please go ahead. Dewo. I have a, a callers waiting, but let me take this caller on direct line because it's on direct line. Caller on direct line, please go on now. Go on, please. There were. Um, my question, I'm going to ask this question. Is uh, for for our people that are outside outside the country. Is there any way that we could? Uh, I know that the recruitment of IPOB and uh, I mean recruitment of ESM has been closed in so long time. Ago. And uh, but some of us now are not even at home or anything. Like, is there any way that we could be up for you know to be able to help in case of any issue? If we had to imagine to go home, you know, for protecting our own community, our families, or anything, that's one. And uh, the other one. You know, since uh, since these uh, infiltrators gathered us, they gathered IPOB, and they probably planned for a long time. Even judging from one post I saw online today from uh, China Samoro, which says that these people had a page since 2012. If they have been around for a long time, which we believe they probably be around for a long time going forward. What are uh, they are they are removing the, the energy that I call members have because they are also worldwide because they, they are killing, they are disorganizing, they are eliminating the uh, one, one thing I want to point out is that if they are calling our people who are looking for asylum and all these things. You know where they're going, right? They'll probably, you know, get them, get them deported and all this kind of thing. And then they say they're being killed, they're picked up at the airport and all this stuff. How are you fighting them? You know, I, I registered for IKOB in a city in Canada, uh, in Calgary. And uh, what happened in that thing, that IKOB branch was that the branch was, was organized by one of these Mefor, one of the times when uh, Mefor issue started and the whole people was scattered. There was no more information coming from there. So all the people from that family, you know, for me now I'm kind of homeless. So I'm wondering if there's any way that IPOB you know, worldwide try to reach out to their people around the world, um, around different countries to direct them to to, you know, the people who are not being infiltrated, but are going to, to the organization that is recognized by IPOB, the one. That's one. And, um, As, are you hearing what this yes, person is saying? Yes, yes, I'm not now. hearing very well. Yeah, I see. Mazi, Mazi, can you hear me? It seems his wordings yes. are kind of muffled. I don't know whether you are yeah, using yeah. I, your I, earphone. I, 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 yes. I don't know. Yeah. Yes, I use my earphone. I could, I could switch it to my phone. Uh, oh, phone. that's the reason. Don't use earphone. It makes your voice kind of muffled. Don't use yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Remove the earphone mm. so that your wordings will be clear or clearer. Yeah, hello. hello, hello. Yeah, yeah, go on. Okay, so to make it much better, my question first about uh, the infiltrators. Who have who have uh, who are fighting us right from Nigeria worldwide because uh, they the efforts this this integrated the IPOB that I was part of in Calgary, Alberta. You know, and then that family have not really had anything direct from there, and it seems like it's uh, you know it's scattered now. So there's no meetings, there's no family meetings, there's no virtual. Uh, is, no, that, no, is that where no, you no, are? Like is that where you are? In Alberta, is that where you are? That, uh, I'm currently. I used to be in Alberta. Right now, I'm in British Columbia. Okay. But uh, just, just saying for there. 
That's what happened there. And I've not been able to see any other family group that I can join since. I travel to different cities all the time. And I ask the people I find online and I can't find any people to join in the rest of the family meeting. Especially the ones that are not being instituted. That's one. And uh, I'm wondering that what is the, you know, what are they doing to fight these people, not just in Nigeria, but also outside Nigeria? Mazda, Jonathan, when we finish this question, you have to repeat this question. I have to be sincere. No, with first you. of all, he's okay, talking he's about. Let me say, he's talking about the family uh, 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 in Canada, in Alberta. That was in, Canada, in Canada. That okay. was in mm -hmm. Alberta, Canada. Mm -hmm. Although he's no more there, he's in British Columbia, so he has no family. You never find the family, but that one I, I think is better. He send inbox me, is the best. He inbox you, you get his number. Yes, yeah, we can find and yes. give his number. They will try to connect him. Yeah, yeah, that is number one. Now okay. the second one, Mazi, can you can you go on just very quick on the second question, so that I repeat it. Okay, I'm just making sure that I'm just asking, what are they doing, you know, to to put the fight back to these people because if they are fighting us from Nigeria, fighting us from Finland, and they are fighting us in Canada as well because they disintegrated the family that was part of there. What are we doing? What are they doing to fight back these people, especially outside Nigeria? And is there any any information on preparation to go ahead? If I if I call any time to help, if there was anything going on, if there was an emergency need. Okay, Marzi, uh, you you had him. Yes. He, he asked about um, no, is no. there any mechanism put in place in case if there is emergency for people to go home to uh, help. I mean, in case of uh, all out uh, conflict. Uh, that is uh, another question, you know. And uh, he's talking about um, these infiltrators. Oh, they are they have started since 2012, uh, fighting us in in the zoo and fighting us outside. So he asking, he want to know what, how are we fighting back? I think uh, Mazi, that is what you mean. Is that is that so? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, just continue listening. I'll switch you off. You listen, please. Mazi, Chinasa, you, you have you have the questions, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Mazi, for now, um, uh, as long as somebody is in connection with a family, or we we are not yet asking people to move. If there is that time, also it will be made open on Radio Biafra. For now, we have the people on ground. And because of how sensitive and all these um, uh, criminals are parading, we have to be very, very careful. Let's clean up the ground first. Then if there is a need people that we move in, we will also make it very open. Um, in terms of the second question, when he's talking about since 2012, they are fighting us. But this is until Biafra is restored. We will always have confrontation from the enemy. They will never give up. The most important thing is the ability to identify them from the enemy. They will never give up. The most important thing is the ability to identify them. By 2015, we defeated them. Other groups since that time, they are also, you know, raising their ugly head. Whenever they raise their ugly head, we crush them, we move on. And that is, it is, it is fight. You are not going to think we are going to cruise to independence just without no opposition. But what the most important thing we are doing is, sometimes people want IPOB, oh, this person did like this, you, you can, no, we are far, far, far. We can isolate somebody because no, there is a way we treat you in IPOB. You even regret why you even make, made that mistake. And what we are doing is this awareness, educating our people. Because the moment you educate our people, they know what is wrong and right. They know this person is working from their activities when you show our people. For example, today, we have been able to kill this subject of Voice of America, uh, Voice of Biafra. 
everybody now if anybody again want to continue jumping on that particular topic you know he wants something different but the evidence are there onion do by himself with what is present because i know maybe tomorrow they will go to delete that account completely but we have already got a video of it we have a screenshot of of everything and people have seen it so we are not worried for the those who will fight us but the problem will you survive it you fight ipob will you be able to survive it that is one thing we are not worried for everything they are doing no we are not worried enemies will always pop up until we restore the effort even if when you restore the effort you will still see those the west will sponsor to come and destabilize they don't want the country to be stable so that they can be able to move on with their development it is going to happen it's a process we must continue fighting but the most important thing is tell our people the truth educate them let them be informed whenever they see danger they understand that this thing is going to derail our movement this person have come to destroy the struggle he has not come with any good intention when we do this i think we will we have solved almost more than 50 percent of our problem thank you Mazi. there war there war Mazi. Caller on what's up? Thank you for holding on for two, two, three minutes. Can you hear me? Caller on what's up? Caller on what's up? Uh, sorry, caller on signal. I'm sorry. Caller on signal. Can you can you hear hear me? Caller on signal. Are you there? Please go on. Manzi, we can't hear anybody. I'm calling from um, and I'm calling from the, the zoo. Go on, go on. The zoo. Yes, go on. Okay. Okay, uh, I have a question. So my question is, uh, number number one is, does uh, does Mike Ezekome as the the leading the lead council to manage the the canal now? Uh, does he have uh, a, a Twitter handle or oh, those Twitter handles that, that if you see, they are just a parody account? Because as a, as people that uh, that we advised by our leader to go to Twitter, at least um, a person like Mike is like, shouldn't be uh, mis misrepresented in, on, on Twitter, so that we know they want to follow. Or if he has one, he should he should make it uh, public as only do the uh, made his own. And told us that time that uh, that this also follow us uh, his uh, original uh, Twitter account, so that we know which one to follow. Because there are many as a comments uh, that uh, that we see every day. They're all like uh, just the only but uh, that we see every day. They're all like uh, just the only but it's not yet being verified uh, so that you know their own uh, so that's my first question if he has one we should make it uh, make us, uh, go on to the second question please okay. we have understood the second question is this. okay the second question is uh Shinasa said many things about uh, those sponsoring uh cues and the criminality Biafra land, and he uh, uh, talked about uh, those in Africa, those in uh, Europe, and those in uh, Europe. Uh, my, 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 uh, my suggestion or question is: uh, Is it not possible to make those uh, names or those people, those people's names that are that are sponsoring all these things, make it public so that? 
uh, we will know uh, those people if they actually know the, uh, sponsoring those kids. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Maz, uh, Maz, 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 let me answer. Let me answer this guy just very fast. One, um, number one, Maz, um, put in your mind. Son, Chief uh, Michael Zuckerman is uh, the lead counsel for this issue of Onyendo rendition, but I think. Um, the only time you can know accurate, maybe uh, uh, Mike Ezekiel is not, uh, you know, somebody on Twitter every time he has not. But we have our lawyer. We have barrister lawyer Jimako. We have barrister barrister Ifani. Anything that is being written or like this, it is always there. Like barrister Jofo, I think his account is verified. I don't know about for Barrister Alloy, but we know because when he makes some tweet, he sends it to the IPOB media so that we can recognize. But I don't think we it's not our duty to ask him to verify. Maybe even no matter any account you make, our people will always make. So I will advise you follow those ones you know for now, because he do communicate through Barrister Fanny Job or for anything. If there is anything he say, you must see it. On the even if he have something, but it's the we put it down. That is number one. Number two, you are saying if we know the names of those people in America, so I, are you new to this struggle? Haven't you heard all these women? Their names have been called on several locations on Radio Biafra and everything they are doing. You tell me if we have the names, we call them. Does it mean you don't know what is happening in IPOD? You don't know the people we have been calling their names. My brother, let me tell you something. It's just like this radio, something we just said now. People don't know that. Somebody will call somebody in America. He said, I ain't no need more here. We are ESA. The person don't even want to verify from. Maybe he came into IPOB yesterday. He just said, I, we are, I don't mind these people. They don't, because you have hatred for IPOB leadership. You just stay. You cannot even ask him, who is your commander? In which state? You tell you leave these people there so because you are looking for people you want to gather and commit criminality. They tell tell me that somebody like Mrs. Bridget, a woman, he said that she's a woman, a leader. A group of people call him. There are people, uh, they say they are, they are ESA. You don't even verify from the leadership. You gather people, make lunch and take money and give to them. And the handover, tell them do. And you tell her that you are the one in charge. You are in charge of criminals. We have been calling their names here. Let's see how they talk. I mean, what do you again do you want us to do? These names we are calling every time, now and then. Because they have all fallen. They have all fallen, I mean. They have all fallen. So the most important thing there, people are outside also. Organize people in their community, use them to commit, to, to threat people. I'm, I'm in charge of ESN and you start to commit havoc in your community in the name of ESN. We advise them form village vigilante, in your, form your community vigilante and leave ESN out of all these things. Um, I think I have two callers and they'll be the last callers. Caller on uh, WhatsApp. Please go on. That's good. Caller on WhatsApp, please go on to your question. I've been waiting for 20, 28 minutes almost. Go on. Um, I greet you all. Uh, our DOS. Uh, I greet you, Mazin Nachi. I greet you, Mazin Moru. I greet you all my fellow Biafras all over the world. Um, what is it, Jonathan Chine? Do uh, I have only one question to ask? But before I ask that very question, I have small commentary to make. Um, please be fast, be fast, okay, and brief, brief. Um, okay, um, I heard that uh, the very my fellow said that he want to expose our barrister. I don't know the kind of expose that they want to expose our barrister. 
but I know he want to gossip once again as usual. So that guy is um, that uh, that bastard is uh, is uh, just a distraction. He's a nobody. I don't want our leadership to put the attention on this uh, bastard. Please, I don't I don't want them to distract our negative. If I hear your voice, hearing my voice. I don't want this in my Finland to distract all of you. Please, it's a nobody. It's a nobody. It's just a distraction. It's an agent, agent of Nigerian government. Understand? Uh huh. Um, my question goes this way. Um, now, since we know that the world, especially the world power, against we be afraid because of the mineral resources that Chuko Kadama used to bless us. Like, like America, like the UK. That is why they block all the the medias not to carry the the, the, the genocide that Nigeria government are committing on Biafra. Not to carry it. Since we know that all these people is against us, for we to start to be shouting the word, let them hear our voice, let them hear our voice. When, when we know that they will not hear our voice and they come to our rescue. Now, we have protests around the world, create awareness to tell the world uh, about our problem. Is the right, is it not the right time? that we prepare ourselves very well. If it is war, we will gauge Nigeria in war. Because this this life, I understand this life, that this life, this life is a survival of the people. I have many friends in Afghanistan. They tell me everything about their problem and the America. Until Afghanistan defeated, Taliban defeated America. So, as I'm seeing this struggle now, we must engage Nigeria once again. And we need to enter our house and put our house in order to make sure that we, we achieve Biafra because without the coming of Biafra, we are not in. Yeah, well, that is what I want to say. Thank you. Yeah, well. Thank you. Yeah, well. <clears throat> Ma, say, Chino, so you want to say anything? Or do I take the last caller? Ma, say, Nachi, Ma, say, Nachi, do you have anything to say? Go ahead. Uh, Ma, say, Ma, say, that just um, made a call. The only thing we have to tell you is that there is time for everything. And at the appropriate time, he is very noble leadership. He is very leadership. He should be rest assured that we will do the needful. Ndewo. Woman. Just to add to what you said, Mazen, let, let, just to add to what Mazen Nachi said, my brother, let me tell you something. There is a way. Why we always say we have informed the world, we are informing them. That information we are giving them is doing a lot because it's making, when Nigeria takes a fake information, propaganda against us to them, at least they are informed. They don't accept what Nigeria said again. They will say, no, but uh, we have a report that you people are doing like this, you're doing like that. That is what they have been crying. People don't understand that is a very strong weapon. Informing the world about your position, informing the world what you want them to hear, it is very, that is the first thing we have secured. Nigeria cannot walk up to some countries now and lie against their friends, against IPOB. No, there are people who we ask them. Let me tell you something. If we have not been informing the world, it's not that Prince Charles, they don't know. Last time, Jubril or who went to meet him, he asked him, he said, uh, do you have house in London? What do you think? It is an insult. It is an insulting question. He's trying to, because they know you people are coming to London to buy house every time. It is an insult to a president. Do you have house in London? Why could he be able to ask him that question? Because these are questions in the public domain. These are things people are talking that they are stealing money and coming over. We are, what I can promise you, we are engaging many international communities. 
But put in your mind, international communities, the way the world politics works, they will not jump out and say the Afra. Okay, okay they are, no, they will not do it because Nigeria may take them up in the international, in the United Nations Security Council for meddling into their internal affairs. We have learned the game and we are operating it in that the same level. I can assure you. Thank you, Mazi. There we go. I will make, take the last caller. Caller on signal, please go on. Caller on signal. You are the last caller. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now, the only way there is a way your voice is, I don't know. Are you using earphone, please? Uh, let me. So. I'm coming out clear right now. Yeah, it's better now, highly better. Go on. Okay. Uh, Mazin Machi, I was the former coordinator of Chistera, the Latina in Italy, where you came to solve some issues last time. So, my name is Amy Chris, and I'm calling for Italy. Mazi China Samoru, I heard what you said now concerning the international community. Uh, to my own perspective, we unfortunately we came from the West Africa, where the Western world and the America does not want to allow to grow. So, to my own perspective, in this issue of uh, international community or not, I think I will buy to what our brother said. Lastly, we put our house in order. Because this struggle, I see it either will go, to, there's no going back, we'll move forward, whatever will be, will be pay the price and take our freedom and go home. But the way I see it, it seems to me that we are begging to take back our things from those holding it. All this international community or organization, they open and bring West Africa or Africans to choke them together. They are still in charge of us, taking care of uh, any, for my to seek my freedom, I have to go to America or be mine for my freedom. And who, which they know why they are holding us down. Our leader have said it very time, many times. So we have to take it by force. We prepare our house. That is my contribution for that side. So what I want to say, uh, you have said something about the man's uh, The insecurity in our land, I'm giving myself very concerned because when time I call here, I talk about the Dubai and I know how much I have spent to support those who are going to visit those that have kept in the custody of the Dubai and I'm very, very worried about it. They killed my uncle because of this and so many other people, not because they killed my uncle anywhere, but... that the confrontation, at least once, we, our people will believe, because we are not going to have a problem will come and they are making people they believe that this IPO be doing it. We know that it's not IPO be doing all those things. We know those are doing them. But at least uh, these people had the harbor which in the by board rule. Either we provide a place where we can rebuild the house for those people and not where go for it. I have one ego. Or can we comfort them and stop all those things? Sometimes the it just goes out of my eye because of those that I know they keep. Especially I came from the eyes of our poor mama and all those things. All those sectors of that's where I came from. So that's what I'm saying. There are other things that uh, in terms of another uh, VOA they're talking about. The only the question you have to ask yourself, you are following them. This advice to uh, be a friend general. If IPOB can find satellite provider or whatever to hang on our own satellite.
provider or whatever to hang on our own supply chain. are having you know Mazi Mazi Chinas are you there yes yes I can hear you Mazi Mazi okay. Mazi we are here Mazi okay. we are here so let me let me take let me go on before uh, you come in because um uh, people are always talking leading to something you know one type of thought uh, people will come, they say, ah, well, let us do something, let us, as if IPOB is not doing something. It is baffling. People, some people don't understand the type of war, the type of the huge mess, the tremendous fight we are in. I'm telling you, till now I, I still see it, the way people talk. When they come, oh, let us do, oh, let us confront them, let us do something, you know, as if IPOB is not doing something. You know, to be at the sideline, just, you know, it's, it's more easier than when you are in charge, organizing things at home. It is not easy. That is what people should understand. Though we are not doing something that it is easy, we are doing it because it is not easy. And that is why we must, you know, continue and succeed. So this question of let us do this, let us start doing something. Sometimes I used to, you know, chuckle at that statement. Because whatever we are doing here, whatever since right from time, Every day, IPOB is doing something in order to address. But there are some, there is something people want to. Our people always want, and it is our problem. Even during the uh, first war, the African Revolutionary War, it is a problem. Everybody wants to see immediate results to be part of what is going on. It is good for a country a democracy when we have our country it is very good but in a situation like this sometimes it is bad it sets us back it's one of the reasons why we are defeated in the war we are listening to the history uh, as a uh, you know being spoken or being told by dr kaji one of the problems that made us to fail is everybody, the civilians want to do the work of military, want to command. Why do you fail this battle? Oh, why do you know? Okay, they put mouth in something that doesn't even concern them, that they have no business doing. They have to command because they are part of it. So, uh, people want, you know, uh, like Mazuchina Samoru, there is something like there are some synapses of a uh, video of ESN. When you put it, there are people still that we say, no, why are you doing this now? Oh, why are you doing this? No need of showing this on video, on Facebook. And when you don't put anything, people will think, oh, nothing is happening. Why not show us what is happening? So it's a, I see it's a problem. We have this problem. IPOV is doing something every blessed day. That is why we are progressing. Maze China, Maze Nasi. I don't know. There is some. Let me. Let me. Uh, I will take this caller that I've been calling since, please. But you continue and say something on what I have, what our brother said, please, before we close. Mazi, uh, Mazi, you know, some people will say, like you just mentioned, you know, some people will say, ah, you launched ESN, why did you even, Onion do launch ESN, why did he show it to people to the world? You know, people will also complain. There were complaints like that. No need to show them. But uh, they used to be there. The military will make marching. They will say we are launching operation this. They march. 
countries will from time to time they show that the people are intact men he was there people are there they say oh the esn is destroyed and they don't know if you allow this wrong impression to go on people continue to they cannot dictate for us what we doing and what we know we know better than what they are talking when they come to the leadership they will understand what is happening they will have the kind of information we have and they'll be able to make their own decisions one thing is this like that our brother said do something you know Mazi, he said we should uh, if you only focus on this proxy war we will never that means they have won they have they have won the fight if we focus all our energy but the problem is that we need to understand a proxy war use our intelligence to curtail most of those things it doesn't mean we can stop it we cannot stop it because they will bring in people from any anywhere and if we make mistake like people are saying if we make mistake and they start to shoot between ourselves the game is over and that is what they want we just have to make sure we don't fall into that trap if we rush without you know decimating nigeria piece by piece that is what they are pushing everything they push like they're holding on you do they push they want to say oh we went to war because they are holding our leader they're looking from every angle and people don't understand it now you move into because of all year natural resources they will have people also who will support them above all they will sympathize with you give you some aid but their interest is more bigger than that thing they are giving to you their interest is oh we want a continuous oil flow to the to the west we want it doesn't matter if you people look at look at all of them british colonized us ask yourself show me one thing the british have kept in our place show me one one what do we have in our land that show that british colonizers apart from church and the english that we are speaking that is the only two things what we can say this is the what they left for us church and this english so my brother one thing is that we know our pace we know the speed we are traveling on and we are not going to stop or rather we can jump the bomb sometimes slow down then we continue the journey but uh, people saying oh they do like this you yourself will agree with me i am not saying all of you can agree with me that what is happening in all is the handwork of the criminals and all of them are working together with a bag with hope all those criminals are being set up for political reasons because they want to use them for politics they want to use them and box people into criminal uh, in, into fear they are all working together these are all the proxy wars we are talking about so you may cry from now to tomorrow the most important thing is to educate our people to understand it so that when they come to use you when they will tell you go and kill this person you tell them please don't tell me this kind of thing that is the most important thing there were there were Mars, eh? Mars, eh? Mars, eh? yes go on. Before, before before you go to the next um question please, the last let me just, in addition to what um, uh Mars, eh? Mars, eh? just said and referring to also to the question for our brother Mazi Emi Chris, I mean, I want to just um, summarize the quote of our leader here on the seventh of March, two twenty. I'm reading his quotes here. If we didn't do what we are doing, the world will say they never knew about it. That you rush into war. You rush into violence and armed confrontation. We are laying the evidence before the world so that the day we march, nobody will blame you. We know what we are doing. End of quote. That is the word of our leader, Mazin and the Khan, on the 7th of March, 2020. You know, one, one, one thing, a, a very wonderful thing about IPUB is this. We have a foundation, and that foundation centers on the modus operandi of our leader Martin Amdekan. 
you are dealing with the Zoological Republic of Nigeria. You are dealing with a people whom, if you don't hold your facts intact and hold them on what we call a follow, not just once, twice, thrice, or even more, you can make a mistake. Let's not forget about what happened in the past with our fathers. Even the world today, some people even still blame our fathers. They still try to blame them. I'm talking about the 1960s. The Aboria called. Some still say they rushed. These are the mistakes we are trying to avoid. Therefore, being tactical and strategic is very, very important. And our people must have to understand these things. As the Nigerian states said, oh, and its president, they want to go through the judiciary. We remember before now, our people were shouting, let's do this, let's do this. And we read the leadership. We weighed all options. And we said, okay. We knew that the Nigerian state and its president will not adhere to the rule of law, even its own court. And we said, okay, let's allow them go through the court process. While we continue to do what we need to do. What's happened today? It got to the court process. It got to the where the president of the Nigerian state said they will adhere to when it gets to that process. He failed to adhere to it. These are credible evidences that we need to continuously present before the world. And the world is saying it. These are the things we are talking about. This is the phrase of our leader here. You, it is, you, we don't even blame you. The one saying, let's do this, let's do that. Yes, but we are the leadership. We weigh all us. We are strategic. We are mindful of history. In order not to make the mistakes of the past, but to ascertain that if we must do the needful, we have exhausted all options, and therefore we have no regrets whatsoever. On the day we choose any path, we have decided to choose. And this is where we want our people to understand and to continuously comprehend that very path we have chosen. And that this is not just the path of we, the leadership. It is the modus operandi of this very noble struggle established by our leader, Mazin and Dekano. And that is why I'm referring back to that very phrase you quoted. This is what we must understand. And this is the summary of our strategy. Going evidence by evidence in judging the Nigerian state. There we must Jonathan. There we Please, last caller. Mazi CJ, please. Make it as brief, very brief, please. Because you are the last caller. Go on, please. Call Amaz CJ, are you there? Please, you on hold. I don't know. Call Amaz CJ, please go on, go on, please. And be brief. Amaz Senator, thank you very much. There so, I know that. Uh... Why, are, why are you going on hold, please? Is people calling you, please? I think I have to. 
I don't need to wait. The, let me, in place of him, call her on also, please. You have to, I, you have one minute. One minute, please. Go on, please. Call her on WhatsApp. Good evening, Mazi. There we Thank you. Mazi, I am calling from Ghana. There we You have one minute, please. Thank you. My first question is, Mazi China Samoru, do you think that by calling the name of these criminals on A, and by using ESN to go after them, do you think that criminality is gradually declining in Biafra land? Are you hearing me, sir? Every, uh, everybody is yeah, hearing yeah. you. I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Then my second question is, if this leadership is not proactive, do anybody think that we should be here today talking about IPOB or freedom of Biafra? That's what makes me, what made me to ask this is for those who will always come to ask questions like, uh, what is the leadership doing? Uh, let us start doing this or doing that. And sometimes, uh, Mazi Chinedu, you don't get surprised at the busy comments or their questions like someone who has been here since how many hours listening to you people and that same person will just come up and begin to ask you what are you doing or begin to tell you eh, let us do this or let us do that why i ask you not to get busy about them is because these people are neither ipob uh, members or biafra supporters because if they are they will truly understand that the leadership is doing something then my last question is Mazi china samoru please what do you have to say to all these people especially those who call themselves coordinators who have vowed never to continue paying their dues of until Mazin nandekano comes out because the reason is that Mas China Samor is using their money to build hotels in Ebony State? Thank you, Mas. There we Mazi, over to you. <laughs> and Mas, yes. you continue. <laughs> Mas, please, on answering this, now you continue towards yes. your closing remarks, please. My Go on. Remark. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, 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 thank you, my, my sister. sister. By, by the names of some of these criminals and then um, i want to tell you something their criminality is part of a society but it depends you know what kind of criminals are in that particular environment why we are so much we we cannot when we are not in full control of Biafra land promise anybody full security but we can promise for ESN, we can promise people for the security of our farmlands, our parents, as long as you are going to the bush, we can solidly, even if no matter how it is, we can go for a rapid uh, response anywhere. We can go to make sure those ones, those ones we have to put in our best because these are full of new terrorists and the uh, full of new men terrorizing and killing our people. In that one, we will give our 100% service. But when you come to criminality in the city, some crimes are committed also by police officers, by soldiers. Some of them are doing the kidnapping. Some of them are doing all kinds of things. There are criminals in every new and cranny. But why we are so much concerned about these sets of criminals we are calling their names 
is because these particular ones are committing crime in the name of IPOD. They are committing crime, heinous crimes, in the name of Mazen Nandekano, in the name of ESA. That is why it is very, very important for us. Sometimes people say, some of them, some of our men who, who are not, I mean, we withdrew from, they said, ah, Mazen, this name you are calling now, it would have been good if we called this name last year. Those you are calling now. It's not that we, but we want to make sure when we call your name, somebody will not come to say we call your name um, out of envy or anything, but we know our information, we know our evidence are completely true. So these ones we are calling their names, you yourself, you know, Sometimes you declare people wanted, people your hand cannot reach. You declare them wanted to be able, you make them vulnerable to the society. And they sometimes some of them are high and moving around proudly. But when you declare them wanted, at least people now knows what they are doing. Because they are coming, they say, oh, we are IPOD, we are ESA. Some people give them money, some they kidnap, some they say, none they cannot tell you support the struggle. All these guys, they were destroying the youth. So by calling their names have saved a lot of youth. I am telling you, there was one of them we called his name on radio. When we called his name on radio, before we finished the program that day, I was getting reports from Osumohu that most of the boys who he kept on the road protecting the road before police will come. The same before morning, many of them took their bag and ran away. They said, oh, we thought it was Mazen Namdekano. They said, we didn't know. They promised them 10 million naira when Mazen Namdekano came out, when Mazen Namdekano comes out, and he will, he's coming to take salute with them. And when they hear the truth, they, today, they, if we didn't call their name, like for example in Orlo, they will be there. Today there are some communities, some villages are returning back in Orlo. I can tell you that some villages, some communities are coming back, even though the case is not yet over, but they are returning back to their communities. If we did not call their name, we continue to keep silent. People are thinking, oh, it is IPOB that is doing that. It is IPOB. People thinking IPOB was behind. So that is one important thing. The places we have called people name, the people we have pointed out clearly and called their names, somehow the insecurity is going down in that place. They have vacated some of those places and we continue to pursue them. But bear in mind, they now knew that we are, ESN is looking for them. And I can tell you, if we get any one of them, we won't spare them. It's, uh, we don't need to hide. You understand me? Those guys who have killed our people, if ESN gets them, they won't let them go. It's as simple as that. So I can promise you and I can tell you in certainty, there is decrease in criminality within Imo State and uh, all um, uh, Anambra South. The criminality level is going down, but don't forget, there are other criminals, all these court boys who, there are many people being caught, you see how they say how they operate. They will just gather in one place, look at a weaker person, they attack. All these kind of criminals, these we know is always, um, uh, you know, in the society we found them because they are also part of the insecurity we have in our place. And that's why we tell our people, get informed. Let all of us fight, let Biafra come. We don't want the police to be on the road. If, if the police is no more, we say police, okay, go back. Police decided they will not be on the road. Most of you will jump out and start robbing our people also. The police will go and change uniform also and come on the road. We have a very big job to do, but we have to start from somewhere. These ones calling our names, using the name of IPOB for kidnapping, for ransom taking, for land dispute, for, for snatching of cars, bicycles, levies in the market. These ones 
it is a fight between we and them. We will never allow them to operate in our name. If you want to be a criminal, be a criminal, but don't engage the name of IPOB. Thank you so much, Mazla. Um, fi finally, finally, let me use this opportunity because since I have to make my closing remark, I want to make something very clear. It is still on the insecurity. Dear friends and all the lovers of freedom, let me, I have said this thing on many occasions on Radio Biafra. IPOB, ESA, never asks anybody to bring him money for bullets. And spend all those ones, collection of levy. You understand me? Payment before you bury your own people. Land dispute. Matters, you know, village issues, husband and wife matters you involve. We don't have anything to do with these things. And please, if anybody, our numbers are there. If anybody come to tell you ESN ask him to come and settle land dispute, send us the name of the person, send us the number, let us know. The earlier, prevention is better than cure. It's not when you have gone there, spend money, they take money from you, later on you come to tell us. Now, also, my sister who talked about some coordinators, if you are in IPOB, you know how our leader does it. Sometimes people are not paying money because they said China Samoru is. They know, even the story they are talking, they know it's a lie. They know that what they are talking, that China Samoru self have never. Since they created a Boni state, I have never been to a Boni state. I have no brother in a Boni state apart from IPOB members. I have no sister in a, I have no family relatives. I have nobody, even resident, apart from IPOB members. So when people come and tell some lies and the person don't want to pay dues because she feels it, ask him which money. Do you see Chinasa in anywhere, any fundraising, anything? Have you ever heard that Chinasa is here? Where is the money? Who sent the money? I could remember the time our leader came to Kuwait. There was somebody who woke up and told him, this money we are going to, people contribute money, they eat. Our leader asked him, how much have you contributed? He kept silent. Have you contributed one dollar? He said, no. And case was closed. That is how some of them they thinking that Mazin and the Khan is not going to come out. They will not contribute again. They will continue to be there dancing. If Mazin and the Khan no come out, ask him if Mazin and the Khan no come out. He said, I didn't contribute because they said Chinasa was building hotel. Then they asked him, Where is the hotel? He said he shot it on social media. They asked him, Go and they get it. Go and bring the confirmation and come. Then he start running around. These are foolish people. And let me make it very clear for people, because this is me. There are many people who have refused to respect and obey this IPOB structure. Some people went home. They said, because it's only Mazen Nandekano I will respect. When he is out, I will come out. But I'm... When Mazen Nandekano come out, you go to him and tell Mazen Nandekano, uh, because you were not there, I didn't want to work. And if Mazen Nandekano tell me to work with you, I will tell Mazen Nandekano, I won't work with you. Because if in your absence, you don't respect the leadership, you don't work with anybody in the leadership. Now Mazen Nandekano is out, you come to work with the leadership. We won't work with you. It's as simple as ABCD. And he will understand our stand. Because you can't insult. We are building a nation. We are building a country, an institution. Then at the end of the day, if Mazen Namde, what of if Biafra comes today? Mazen Namde cannot retire. That he said he don't want to be the leader. A new leader emerge. You say you won't respect that place. Only then you go home and you sleep and close your mouth shut. It is stupidity and the ignorance. Anybody opening his mouth anywhere and say, I don't listen to anybody, only Mazen Nanda. You are stupid. When you are making such comment, it doesn't show that you love Mazen Nanda Kano. That does not what it means. It shows how stupid and selfish and ignorant you are. Because Mazen Nanda Kano is not only him, it's IPOB. 
It's not Mazen Namdekano that it is the IPOB made Mazen Namdekano. Mazen Namdekano lead IPOB to the glory also. Trying to say uh, only when Mazen Namdekano will come out, you come back to the struggle. That is for you. Remember, most of you, we have marked many of you. There are some of you who have, because Mazen Namdekano had problem. I'm not asking you to respect me. I don't need respect from you. Respect the institution. Respect the structure of IPOD. Some of you, some of you who come and talk rubbish on social media talk, you are not even up to my younger sisters. You are not even up to my younger sisters. Some of you not even up to my younger brothers. You are not even up to my cousins. People who respect us. We have a lot of people who respect us. You are nobody. But you come, you put your mind, because talk is free. You come, you you demonize the leadership, you think tomorrow, if when Mazen and the Colonel come out, you come, you say, because that time Mazen and the, that time you go and walk in the office of Mazen and the Colonel. If he takes you, you walk there. If he don't take you, 